and we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Yeah, you know the deal. We back again. Yo. A round of applause for Jersey's finest. A lot of content creators not worthy, but they minus. They get offended and start singing like the whiners. Talking like they tough, but it's only screaming and whining. My homie just do us to catch you don't come to Your squad get run through By the time you come to you duck food You suckers talk tough on the internet Revealing all your threats Now we got you trapped in the net Just do be on this grind Y'all better hustle up You dead lifted 90 pounds We doing muscle ups There's really no comparison His voice sound like a derringer Throwing a towel that's just embarrassing My dog just very philosophical And psychological and he mixed it all with good boxing news. These YouTubers feel like Bishop, I guess they got the juice. But it's lonely at the top to just feel like child abuse. Be respectful, he don't want to talk wild and loose. If you can't relate, you get dismissed like a mild dispute. These weird cats will tell lies, they didn't hide the truth. Why beyond views, you lose your life when you collide with dude. It's just do boxing. Are you cowards quit jockin'? Kirk is official with no other options. Yeah, yo. You know the deal. Judah Ben, we in the spot. Just do boxing, yeah. And of course, shout out to Mrs. Do. Holding the whole family down. Word them up, word them up. What's good? What's good? Salute to the fam. Good Tuesday. How y'all feeling on this good Tuesday? Got some good news for the boxing fans, for the boxing world. I think um, November and December are going to end up being some pretty decent um, months for to end this year off good, man. Anytime we get further confirmation on fights that we've been waiting to see is always a plus. Like We've been talking about this, discussing it. But, you know, it's always better. The discussion is more meaningful when we know the fight is coming, right? And that's what we get. So, y'all already know, man. You catch this on the playback as I see that, you know, the playback numbers sometimes increase. Y'all make sure y'all sub to the channel. Smash the like button. Don't be rude. Smash the like button. Turn your notifications on. Come rock out with the family, man. So, with that, let me say what's up to the fam. God self, what's good with it, my bro? Good to see you in the building, man. How you feeling? Sparky, what's good with it, fam? D1, what's good, my bro? He said, uh, when it gets tank, you already know it. Judah Ben, what's good, my bro? From work, man. Hope you ain't work too hard. D1, what's good, ghost, my bro? William Old School, my brother, what's good with it? How you feeling? Hey, the Chavez is in the building. EA Dig, Jersey, what's good, my bro? Ain't no monster. They all bleed red. Ghost and monster are about to get. <laughs> Talk to him, man. Talk to him. Tay Tay, the real queen in MMA combat. How you feeling, Tay Tay? How you feeling, queen? Salute Tay Monster, more like it. <laughs> Miss Joette, good afternoon to you, queen. How you feeling today? Appreciate you stopping through. Marcel, what's good, my bro? How you feeling? <laughs> you already know I appreciate you, bro. Salute to you, man. Got to give you your just to appreciate you pulling up on the boy, on your boy, man. Y'all make sure y'all punch the like button for me on the way in. I'm just gonna have a little boxing build and um, you know, discuss some of the some of these. Um, you know, we got further confirmation on some of these fights, man. So I'm I'm just glad to have a conversation you know, with some substance around it because we know fights are coming, right? Even um Haney and Prograde is like 
got a slight update on that. You get what I'm saying? They saying that fight is going to take place for either um late November, late November, early December. So, you know, we got that to look forward to. So they definitely still, you know, working out the, the fine details. And I believe that fight is coming next at 140. Salute to my baby girl, the queen, Miss Just Do. How you feeling? We on the job. Yes, yes, we are. Let's build, fellas. Y'all ever seen a ghost be the one who hunted? <laughs> right. About to, get, about to get cold for the ghost. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's about to get real out there. Ask these corner. What's good, Cuzzo? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through, as always. Salute to everybody. So, like I said, man, you know, um, some people will call it breaking news. I just call it, you know, this is it's time to it's time to uh stand stand and deliver man um we know the history we know the back and forth i'm not even concerned with none of that all i am concerned with is the fact that and and i want to point some things out right you know you, you see all the slander see all the slander that that Shakur Stevenson had to deal with when he wanted to fight somebody right now do you see how fast that him and Frank Martin worked their situation out. I just want to point something out because, you know, uh, what do you say? If your core and Frank is not pay per view, neither Devin and Regis, that's just a fact. Yeah, um, I think that's what they're trying to work out too, D1, that if it's going to be on pay per view or not. And I think they're trying to put it on pay per view, uh, you know, Haney and Regis. I think they're trying to do that. So we're going to see. But I think it should have just been on the zone. But Hey, you know, what do I know? But we'll see. We'll see. Salute to my bro, Big Dog Willie, in that super chat, man. He said, Devin Haney could do a Willie on a unicycle. Did you know I know how? <laughs> Did you know I know? Because Louisville Haney told me. So, <laughs> salute to just do the chat. The infamous Haney Co. Salute to my bro, Big Dog Willie. Always showing love. Supporting the grind, man. Appreciate you. And bro. we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these, but, 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 but now it's time for is. you to get your just do. Salute the big dog, Willie. Martin Gonzalez was good with it. He said, better not be pay-per-view. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, but that's what I'm hearing. That they, they might, they uh they I think they still trying to work that out and put that fight on pay-per-view. I could be wrong, but I believe that's that's the that's the move, at least for right now. That's what's going on. Salute to Martin. Appreciate you pulling up. Y'all make sure y'all smash the like button, sub to the channel. If you new, come rock out with your boy, man. You know, I mean, that fight won't sell plastic cups. <laughs> Haney versus Regis, a regular zone fight. I thought so too, B Dog. Not even trying to be funny. I thought so. I definitely thought so. Now, please go tell that monster to stop lying on my bro. We catch fight flights and react and really check you on this side. <laughs> yeah, man. We listen. I think the rest of this year, really, what this conversation is about is more confirmation that we get in these fights, right? That's what's most important, right? We get in a Frank Martin and Shakur Stevenson fight. I think it's you and like I was saying, do you see how people said he did bad business? He moving weird and he moving like this, he moving like that. But look, I want to point something out. Why wasn't none of that the case with Frank Martin? Why this Frank Martin situation ain't play out like that? You know why? Because two people really want to fight, fight so much so these dudes ain't even have to go to purse bid. The purse bid got canceled and it came to agreement for the fight to be on ESPN. You get what I'm saying? Big text was good with it, family. How you feeling? Aisha, salute, Queen. How you feeling today? Appreciate you stopping through. Was I think Shakur about to retire, Frank? He about to be as a Haney will learn. It's pay per view value with this one. Yeah, Sparky, it a it, it show. It a show. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. We back at it again just to cook, just a nice boxing conversation for the people. Shakur versus Frank Floyd versus God is going to be one sided ass whooping. It could be. I tell you what, they're calling this a 50 50 fight, saying both guys could win. I see people telling me that, you know, Frank going to do this and do that. I'm telling y'all now, if he dominate him, I don't want to hear nothing. In the same way, somehow, some way, Frank dominates Shakur, I won't make a single solitary excuse for him. but. I got a feeling, man, this, this fight about to be a statement. I could be wrong, but I just don't think so. I think this about to be a statement fight. I think he about to he about to channel all this stuff he's been dealing with and the back and forth of these people. And I think he's gonna put on one of the best performances of his career against his uh, you know, most solid opponent to date. Some a lot will say, right? So we're gonna see. 
Two guys want to fight, right? None of that riffraff. You get what I'm saying, D1? No, no, no purse bid even necessary. Hey, man, fight on ESPN. Make it, make it. You get what I'm saying? One, two, three. Make it easy out here. Make it easy, man. Nothing difficult. Like, And that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Just get the fight on. So when we do have this conversation around this fight, it's a real conversation. These, these are just the fights you want. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see meaningful fight at 35 for Shakur. This is what we're getting with Frank. It's going to be on ESPN. They saying um, the date is either November 16th or December 9th for, for Shakur and Frank. So either of them dates I'm cool with. I'm glad we got some more confirmation that the fight is coming. It's going to be on ESPN. Now my question is where, where the fight going to be at, right? I just want to know where it's going to be at because if it's anywhere in my vicinity, I'm damn sure gone. You get what I'm saying? I am gone. Same as Wilder versus AJ, but Wilder versus Fury was easy. You see what I'm saying? Get what I'm saying, Ash? Very easy. You know what I'm saying? When you watch a fight with Stevens fans, are saying it's going to be a wild Jermaine. Well, it depends on which 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 fans of his that you that you listening to, right? Because I'm a heavy supporter of his. That's my favorite fighter. But I ain't saying it's going to be a wash. But again, we could say a lot of things. He still got to prove it. That's why you watch the fight, right? We we I heard people say, you know, Spencer's going to wash Crawford, right? And we still watch that, right? And we see how that played out. So people could be saying the same thing. Shakur washes Frank and then Frank get in there and wash him. So you get what I'm saying? We watch these fights because you just never know. Anything can happen in the sport of boxing. So there's always that. 817, my guy, what's good with it, Brody? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. Yeah, they're going to do him like Tank if he win. Say Frank wasn't ready. <laughs> Don, what's good with it, fam? They can try that one, but at 28 years old, he as ready as he's ever going to be. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, we we could take this good, take this, you know what I mean? Good fight and just enjoy it, right? But I I could see some people making excuses, but I'm gonna get both of these dudes. They just do because that's what I'm about, man. Giving dudes a credit, credit to both Shakur and Frank for being willing to challenge themselves, test themselves, and and, and and you know, fight a meaningful fight that could you know 50 50 type fight. Salute to Dev. You get what I'm saying? Him and Regis, like I said, they said their fight is going to take place late november early december so you get what i'm saying november and december is kind of shaping out pretty good you figure david benavidez and demetrius andre gonna be somewhere around there as well so i'm really here to just talk about how good these fights are going to be and i think this is how you end the the one of the best years in boxing by giving us more meaningful fights that's what i'm all about you get what i'm saying these are all meaningful fights 50 50 type deals you get what i'm saying demetrius andre and, and Benavidez, despite who you're going for, that's 50-50 on paper. Same thing, Shakur and Frank, 50-50 on paper, right? Devin Haney and Regis Progray, 50-50 tight fights. This is what boxing is. This is how great this year has been. I'm glad that we're getting further confirmation that we're getting, you, we getting these fights. You get what I'm saying? So I, I love this year of boxing, bro. I really appreciate this year of boxing, man. I, I'm enjoying it. And uh, I'm we going we gonna to keep building on boxing, man. Man, we'll walk up there and say, I got excuses tonight. I'm telling you about that, man. He's going to handle business, man. He's going to handle some business. I see that. But it's going to be a good fight, Shakur. And I'm ready for the ghost. Joe, what's good with it, bro? How you feeling, man? Appreciate you sliding through. Pat Bell, what's good with it, my bro? Dante, all boxing talk, man. Rough year for Derek James. Shakur getting that win. I think so. You get what I'm saying? Big dog Willie back in the super chat. The excuse will be Martin, still a prospect. Shit, 28. His excuses is, uh, you know, <laughs> but I get it. I know the ones. I'm just going to enjoy the fight and give the winner and the loser that just do. You know what I'm and saying? we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but, 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 but now it's time for is. you to get your just do. Ah, uh, right. I thought I saw Vegas if 11 16 or New York if 12 9. You probably saw right, Aisha. You probably saw right, Queen. You probably did. So I'm I I I'm I'm interested to see where they're gonna throw this fight at. It's gonna be fun, man. With casuals, you're gonna get excuses. Talk to him, 817. That's my guy right there. Chop was good with it. But it was gonna surprise a lot of people. Um Yeah, he could. He could, yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like there's no way he can win this fight. I, I ain't gonna be one of those people, right? You know what I mean? They're 50 50 for a reason, because there's ways that Frank Martin could win this fight. You know, there's things that he has to do to be successful to win this fight. You get what I'm saying? Explanations and excuses are two different things. Let me read that again for the people that don't be getting it. My bro said explanations and excuses are two different things. 
which is why they had two different definitions. But let me hush. I'm be watching. <laughs> nah, no hush, man. This talk too much is in the building. That's my God, man. Be fight easily made. Didn't take three months to make. Like this Regis fight. Bing, boom, boom. B dog. Jonathan was good. You ready for your boy to get whooped? I'm ready to see my boy shine, man. Put on the best performances of his career. A one hoop zone was good with it. If you talking about the um Frank Martin and Shakur fight, I definitely bet on that one. I really would. Tell Shakur when that email bell. I don't think it's. I don't think that's the same though. I know they. I know they want to push that, but I don't think the bell getting emailed to him is just a vacant title that two people are fighting for, right? Get what I'm saying? I don't think it's the same as being emailed the belt and then having a fight with the belt being on the line. I think it's a little different, but I get you. But you get what I'm saying? You got to get it how you can get it, man. I'm. We looking at a potential three division champion. You get what I'm saying? When this fight is made, this fight this. This fight is going to be one, man. You did. The Haney coach forming up the wish that Shakur is going to lose. Yeah, it ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Salute to my Brody Zoom verse. Peace and blessings, family. How you feeling? Peace. Appreciate you pulling up. Frank has a fan base that thinks he beat Shakur. There's no excuses if you lose. That's a fact, cuz. Oh, they do. Bring about the whoop of bad two 12 zip. <laughs> Damn, you going 12 zip, my boy. Man, I'm out here EJ and DJ in the outs. And Blu ray is back. Yeah, man, it's it's all types of stuff out there, Zoom, man. I think they just, you know, pushing one, you know, just a, a lie a story in, in terms of the uh, Derrick James and EJ splitting type thing. Miami Kid J was good with it because of the beef, but nevertheless, good fight. Yeah, I get you. I get you. He's fighting for the belt. Right, right. Core getting stopped. Oh, snap. Big text said my bro getting stopped. My boy getting stopped out here. Sheesh, but I, I just don't think Frank Martin is is, is going to be, you know, I think he's going to be very competitive. I think he's going to have moments. I think he's going to have his level of success. I think he's going to be able to show you why he's a credible opponent, why he should be in the ring with a Shakur. But I think when it's all said and done, I think he gets beat. I think he gets beat convincingly. And I think Shakur is going to demonstrate levels, pedigree. You get what I'm saying? Experience. You get what I'm saying? He's going to show you the difference between potential you know, generational talent, God gifted talent and a, and, a, and a very good fighter that's still, you know, coming into his own. They don't say Martin was a hype job by Spence, right? They say a lot of things, getting beat and having health issues during a fight, two different things. That's all facts. Frank getting stopped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Talk to him, uh, Big Tex. Uh, he said both of them get stopped. Hey, hell with it. It's not the same at all. Definitely didn't have a fight for the WBC. Yeah, true. Let's put them water pistols, uh, yeah, muscles on the line. Yeah, man, cool. We got it, man. We got it, A1. Definitely, man. I know my boy going to stand tall, man. Big Fast was good with it. Now it's a lot different. Y'all kill me. What's that? What's, what you talking? What you talking about? Nah, Shakur about to handle ghosts, man. Guys, so what's good, my bro? How you feeling, man? Fighting for email belts? Hey, man, that he only fighting for the email belts because the guy that had it ain't want to fight. So he, they, they took it from him. They said, since you don't want fighting for it, you going to make, he going to Frank Martin was like, yeah, I do it. You know what I mean? I do it. Big Fat said Frank going to tap that chin. He might. He might. He damn sure going to land. Every fight I've ever seen in Shakur, he's got hit, right? So definitely going to hit him. But um, I ain't worried about it being no knockout loss for Shakur for sure because um, I don't think Frank got nuclear type power like that. And I don't think. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I don't think he got that one punch fight changing power. He is strong. He got power in both hands. He got good feet, good athleticism. He a hell of an athlete. He's responsible defensively. You get what I'm saying? But he struggles a bit with his distance range and his timing, right? And sometimes he relies too heavily on his athleticism and he likes to fight in spurts. And I think those moments where he tries to fight in spurts, he's going to get picked apart. That's me. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think I watched Frank Martin enough. I think I've seen enough of his fights to see what he do well. And I think I see where he falls short. I think that I see the things where he struggled and um, make no mistake about it. Those areas where he make those mistakes, you know, if Artem was able to capitalize and win three, arguably four rounds, arguably four rounds, arguably, that's arguably, you know what I mean? Maybe three rounds he got, right? You get what I'm saying? That's not much. That's still a pretty dominant win for, for Frank Martin. But again, if Artem could get three rounds, you're going to multiply that. <laughs> You might want to multiply that by three <laughs> with Shakur. So those same mistakes that he made, uh, misjudging the time and the distance and his range and things like that, um, uh, you know, falling short with his shots, over-relying on, on athleticism, um, 
the last fight, he put himself in an identity type of situ situation where he came out there and he tried to be something that he already is, which is weird, right? You know, most fighters go out there and try to be things that they're not. He went out there and tried to be something that he already was, and it bled into his performance, and I think it made him look a certain way. That is her Shakur to the body. Right. We we all know that because he said he felt like he had to throw up. I said that. I told people that. That's not no secret, yo, but uh, I think that just lets you know he's human. You get what I'm saying? But the, and that's Valdez. Valdez, Valdez definitely more of a puncher than Frank Martin is. You get what I'm saying? Respectfully. You get what I'm saying? In his career, that's what he's been. Frank Martin is more of a boxer puncher, right? You get what I'm saying? God, that can box with some punching power. He damn sure can box. I'm scared to make this make it make it make sense. I offer you the fight, but I'm scared to make it. Who who you talking about? Who you talking about? Steph Brown, what's good with it, fam? How you feeling, my bro? What's good with it, Steph? Key Alexandria, what's good, Queen? How you feeling? Shout, shout out to L Dub. Always L Dub. Salute to my bro L Dub Boxing. Always on the on the on the mark, man. Always on the mark. And got one punch power. He could ring his bell. Absolutely, B Dog. Got you. I got you, A1. I got you, bro. I'm driving. Uh somebody said they're driving. Salute, salute to my bro D1, man. Nephew around steam watch. He nephew gonna show you why he why he a generational talent, and he gonna show you how all that rhetoric was just exactly what it was rhetoric. You know what I'm saying? Scores flaws. Let y'all tell it. Not big fat. See, not flawless, but you again. You got. I don't know who you listen to. I don't know who y'all listen to. But when y'all come over here, like I expect y'all to hear me out. I don't really want to hear what everybody else is saying about Shakur and how unrealistic these people are when it come to him. Just do is one of the the most absolute non-biased and realistic content creators you're going to get, boxing supporters as well. No no boxer is flawless. None of these dudes are flawless. He's very human. Like 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 bro just mentioned, Valdez hurt him to the body. I mean, uh, he, he admitted that. We only know that because he admitted it. He could have been like most fighters and kept it to himself, right? I'm pretty sure that's not the only time he faced some type of, you get what I'm saying, situation in boxing, but it happens. He got through the moment, and the only reason we know about it is because he, he, he invited that information to us. That's why I rock with him. I'm glad he said that. You get what I'm saying? BBO Boxing, what's good with it, fam? How you feeling? All these dudes are, 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 are you know what I mean, flawed. They all make mistakes. You get what I'm saying? Can't hit what you don't see, ghost. Right. Mike, what's good with it, my bro? How you feeling? When he started listening to DJ, Frank was cracking harder. Yeah, he, he was. He definitely was. And that's just the area of concern, B-Dog. He has those moments where he don't listen. Shakur don't have those type of issues. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man, alone. <laughs> Black Panther. <laughs> Salute to my bro, man. Respect to Mark for taking Haney fight for him. Right, man. He took the Haney fight. Dude, Shakur is not a GOAT. Who said he was a GOAT? Who said he was a GOAT? He 20 and no. How could he be a GOAT? And who said that? I just want to know. Like, again, I don't care what nobody else say about nothing when it pertains to boxing because I got a mind of my own and I'm very realistic, reasonable, and I'm always within the realm of logic. That's one of the best defensive fighters that we have in the sport. That's why people rate him so highly because he's hard to hit. The guy doesn't give up rounds. It's hard to land double digit punches on him. Those things are facts. That's not nothing I'm making up. You get what I'm saying? Those are all facts. See, when you talk to a realistic supporter of the sport, they're going to give you realistic information and a realistic assessment. You get what I'm saying? They're going to give you real information. That's what it is. So it ain't got to be flawless. But Frank Martin make a lot more mistakes than Shakur Stevenson. We see this. We've seen this already. It's, it's not. It's not nothing hard to figure out. Um, nah, um, Miami kid Jay. I just think um, I think he's eager to get a meaningful fight. <clears throat> I think um, Edwin De Los Santos. He understands the talent that Shakur is, and I really think he'll fight him. I believe him, but it's not a matter of either guy ducking him. Like he did the same thing to Frank Martin. I could show you a post right now where he tagged Frank Martin. He called Frank Martin out too. He called Pit Bull out, Frank Martin, Chris Colbert. He just go, he doing his run. He making his rounds right now. But people, people will ignore that and make it seem like Shakur is supposed to move hell and high water to fight this guy that we clearly know from a skill and talent level. The main thing that makes that fight is intriguing is we think that Los Santos got a puncher's chance. Not that he's more skillful. Like we just being honest. So hopefully he get his shot so he can shut some more people up. The Marcus was good with it, my bro. How you feeling? Appreciate you sliding through. Miss Knockout Boxing 86 TV. Salute to the Queen. How you feeling today? Appreciate you pulling up. 
Earl Deontay, them guys. <laughs> Salute to once that people on say Shakur got a chance to this fight. I can already tell people, I think Frank, a KO artist. Yeah, they do, right? <clears throat> That's the way they talk, cuz oh, big dog Willie back in the super chat, man. Much love and appreciation, bro. Holding it down a super chat single handedly, man. These aren't real Frank Martin fans. These are the Haney Code members. Want Shakur to lose? Bill Haney had a ritual, and Haney Code is brainwashed. <laughs> and we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these, back, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Much love and appreciation, bro. We're gonna see. We're gonna see a good fight, though, man. Frank Martin is a damn good talent, yo. A damn good talent. But I think, um, I think this 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 is not the best time for him. Like, you know, he needed he need this opportunity because he's 28 and you can't afford to, you know, waste no time. But I think it's just a bit too soon in terms of being, you know, experience wise. Like I think it's some things, some areas where he really falls short and uh, those flaws are going to be um, magnified when he's fighting a guy like Shakur. I think he's going he gonna to make him pay for the mistakes that he do make. And again, I think the, the issue that he has with struggling with distance and range and, and falling short with shots and, and you know, Things like that and, and relying on athleticism when he should box. I think those those mistakes are gonna put him in a situation to lose rounds. You know what I'm saying? And that's just real. I love him for how they move his men. Facts, facts 817. Salute to you, bro. Martin might stop sugar. Nah, I don't see it. I don't see it. It, it. You know, anything is possible in boxing, but do I see a stoppage? I don't see a stoppage on either side, right? I see um going on points and I see Shakur being victorious and a dominant win, right? I see Frank Martin winning some rounds. But I don't see it being like no seven five type of fight. I see it at the absolute worst. This is in my mind, right? I could be wrong. I see it being an eight four situation, and that's still dominant to me. But I truly feel like it's going to be a you know, it might even be more than that. It might be even better than that. He might give up two three rounds at most. You get what I'm saying? I think he really going to be in his bag. I think he's going to be switched on. I think his game plan is going to be better. Um, again, that. You know, the style of Derrick James and, and what seems like Frank Martin naturally likes to do is a bit different, right? Seem like Derrick James want to make him bit, a bit of a pressure fighter, but he 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 kind of struggles with the balance of trying to be a pressure fighter. You get what I'm saying? And being this come forward guy and then his boxing. You get what I'm saying? Like he, he makes some mistakes in there, but he do some things very well. He's very responsible and he's defensively. He keep them hands up. He got some of the best feet in the division. I've said this before. Frank Martin does, in my opinion. I think for Shakur to neutralize those feet, though, he got to do how he normally do in fights, typically do control the distance and the range and pick his shots. You know what I mean? Work off the jab, create his openings, <clears throat> and take advantage of the mistakes that Frank Martin made. And the same goes for Frank Martin. Frank Martin going to have to make this a, a rougher fight. He's going to have to create some doubt in Shakur Stevenson's mind. He's going to have to make him uncomfortable. And I believe he's going to have to take the fight to him. I, I believe if Frank Martin sits back there and boxes and this is just a chess match, I believe he gets thoroughly outboxed. <clears throat> I believe if he's not physical in this fight and he doesn't make it a little rough and uncomfortable for Shakur, I think he gets embarrassed over 12 rounds. I think he'll, he'll get dominated. You get what I'm saying? But I think if he has the right game plan and, you know, he – tries to make this like i said he got to make this a physical fight i just don't think he can sit back on the outside and and try to pick and poke i think that's your core and that's in his wheelhouse so he got to put him in a situation that he's not comfortable with right <clears throat> and maybe that's pressure you get what i'm saying maybe that's landing the right shots maybe that's going to his body right people feel like because valdez hurt him to the body he can't take body shots so there you go maybe maybe frank martin goes to his body early you get what i'm saying there are areas and avenues of success for frank martin he just got to be switched on and take advantage of those opportunities when they present themselves no fighter is perfect and shakur is definitely no exception to that rule he's far from perfect he's very flawed just like any other fighter but if we just being all the way honest based on the 20 fights that we've seen i don't know about y'all i've seen pretty much all of them he doesn't make a ton of mistakes right of course he makes mistakes Every fighter makes plenty of them, right? <clears throat> but he just threw through a 12 from round to round from three from th in three minute durations. He doesn't make a ton of mistakes. So in those three minute periods, you have to take advantage of every mistake that he's making. You have to be switched on in that area in that regard. You have to do that. And that's the same thing for Shakur. When, when you when Frank Martin makes a mistake, you have to capitalize. You get what I'm saying? And you can't take it for granted. He can't overlook this dude. Neither guy. This is a, this is a real fight. 
<clears throat> if either guy is not on their A game, the other guy could win. This is this is a great fight for boxing. I can't wait to see it. May the best man win. Y'all know who I'm rocking with, but I think I'm very logical. I just gave y'all areas where both guys could be successful. And, and I'm not counting Frank Martin out, but I'm being very firm in my pick. I do think he'll win. Shakur will win. Convincingly, I think Frank Martin will be competitive the entire fight because I think that's the kind of fighter fighter he is. And that's the kind of talent he is. I don't think he'll lay down for anybody and Shakur either. You get what I'm saying? He ain't laying down. Frank Martin <clears throat> is not getting in the fight. He's not going into that fight to be an opponent. He's not going into that fight to lose. And for that reason, you will see probably one of the better fights out of Frank Martin. I don't expect him to see how I, I expect to see him look better than he did against Artem against a fighter in Shakur because I believe really good fighters are able to raise their level when they're in there with a certain opponent. I think Frank Martin, for him to be successful, especially the way certain people are saying it, he's going to have to raise his level on the night. Those performances, that fight, any hiccups, he have a lackluster performance, something like how he did against Artem, it's going to be a, it's going to be a long night for him. And that's just being real. As I'm going off of what I seen last, right? What I seen last was that he had a little bit of issues in there. He had to figure some things out. He wasn't listening to Derrick James. Derrick James was getting on his ass. And when he did listen to Jer Derrick James, he was very successful. I seen that. But again, Shakur is not a guy that struggles with identity. He's not a guy that don't listen to his corner. He's not a guy that truly needs. He's so ahead of his time. He tells the coaches sometimes what needs to happen before they can tell it to him. And that's just a little tidbit of some people that that know some inside information when it comes to that boy IQ. So it's just a little different, man. Dude's not easy to hit, not fighting one to Valdez. Are you serious? Dude, it, it's easy not to get hit. Nah, man, it's not easy not to get hit in no fight. Cause you see every fighter, if it was, if it was so easy not to get hit and fight fights, you would a lot of people would have Shakur's defense. It wouldn't just be him. It'd be a lot of people. And up until that point, you didn't. Valdez was pretty much knocking people out. We seen how he did the bird out. You never seen nobody make Valdez look the way Shakur did, even to this day, with the most recent fight that he had. So if that's what you're saying, I, I mean, I, I, I just, I see it differently. I don't disagree with people. I just see it differently. So, and again, we got to stop trying to find ways to discredit from the, the, the quality of the fighter. That man has shown you to have one of the best defenses in every single fight. So much so, guys are not even landing double-digit punches on him. I'm not talking about no one or two fights. I'm talking about his entirety of his career. That's why I'm very confident that defensively, he will cause problems for Frank Martin. He's not going to be the easiest to hit. He will get hit because it's a boxing match, and he's not perfect. And Frank Martin is a damn good fighter. He can land shots. He got some power. It's going to be a fun fight to watch. This fight, it, it, it has you know areas of success for both guys. This ain't going to just be him walking through him. I don't think that, but I think he's going to win convincingly. I don't think I'm crazy for, for feeling that way. You get what I'm saying? I've seen him have issues in, you know, at least three or four fights where guys ain't no, nowhere near the skill level or talent in Shakur. So I feel like if those guys can have a level of success, he can multiply that. That's what I think. Those guys are not on his level. The Romero Dunos or Jackson Marinez is, you get what I'm saying? Them dudes, is, they can't do nothing with Shakur. Uh, Michelle Rivera either. You know what I'm saying? Michelle Rivera either. Quincy Carter, what's good with it, Quincy? How you feeling? Well, your skills speak for itself. They they know. You get what I'm saying? They know. And I try to give. I'm giving Frank Martin his just due. I'm telling y'all he got a realistic chance too, but he makes more mistakes. So naturally, I feel like he has – he he his, his error for margin is a lot smaller. Because he makes more mistakes. He's fighting a guy that make doesn't make a ton of mistakes in the ring. It's just what it is. So he's going to have to create those opportunities with his feet and being aggressive. I think he need to make this fight rough for Shakur. I think he need to make him uncomfortable. If, if possible, he need to create some doubt in his mind and put him in some unfamiliar or uncomfortable situations. If he do that, I could see a, a definite lane of success for him, bro. But he got to do it. It's not going to be easy. But I don't expect this to be an easy fight for either guy. I just feel like the the totality from three minutes to three minutes to three minutes, I feel like when them, them 12 rounds is done, I feel like Shakur won the majority of them because of the skill set. You get what I'm saying? The fact that he doesn't, you know, he don't make a ton of mistakes. You get what I'm saying? I feel like you got a higher IQ, more discipline in the ring. You get what I'm saying? Knows how to follow the game plan. You get what I'm saying? Knows how to put you in a situation and make you uncomfortable. You get what I'm saying? That hit and not get hit ain't nothing to play with, man. Bring me 15 more fights to even be somewhat ready. <laughs> they say crazy stuff like that, don't they? Buddy here playing Shakur got knocked off. Yeah, man. Yeah, the, the, the slander is wild. 
Oh, then what's good with it, family? How you feeling? He dropped down in Jersey. No, he knew Shakur in Texas. Come on, he won't pull that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, hey, they ain't gonna call that out. Then they ain't gonna. Oh, then they ain't gonna call it, bro. They gonna just we Shakur got to drop his fight with Frank Martin and respond to Dela Santos. You know what I'm saying? Why I don't know, but that's what you gotta do. She said my close ass fight. Yeah, I think Frank is a dog, right? And we're gonna find out what they're both made of. Real soon, facts. I agree. All all facts. All truth. Dr. Mark Falls mentality. How you feeling, OG? Sure about the welcome in the uppercuts. We want to stop Frank in 90 seconds. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's going to be a stoppage. I think it's going to go to uh, full distance. My Me, I think it's going to go full distance. I think the fight is going to be competitive throughout. I think the second half of the fight from about five all the way through, I think we're going to see some separation on either side. But in my opinion, I feel like Shakur is going to create that separation just because his skill set, talent, pedigree, and IQ. You get what I'm saying? Both guys are skilled. Both guys got speed. Frank got the edge and the power. Um, I think Shakur got this experience edge over him in the ring. Um, in terms of how long he's been boxing, like I say, he's been boxing since he was five. He's 26 now. Do the math. Frank Martin picked up boxing at 18. He's now 28. I think that will play a factor as well. You get what I'm saying? You, you're talking about basically a guy that was boxing out of the crib to a guy that picked it up a lot later and the other guy that picked it up since he was, you know, basically out the crib, then went on to be an Olympic silver medalist with a ton of experience you get what i'm saying that i think a lot of people just don't account for so we're gonna watch it's gonna be a great fight for both guys i give both guys areas where they can win but i'm being very firm in my pick you get what i'm saying i i, I get i want to give uh you know frank martin all the credit in the world for taking the fight again i could sit up here and say all this stuff and then it can go left and frank martin can do the same stuff to shakur that i'm saying you know shakur gonna do to him so we just gotta wait and see i'm but in no way it cases Am I saying that this is an open and shut case and there's no way Frank Martin could win? You will never hear me be unreasonable like that. And I just ain't no super fan of nobody like that. Anybody can lose. Shakur has to be on his A game. He got to keep getting better. You get what I'm saying? He got his first fight at 35 under his belt. This will be no different. You get what I'm saying? It'd be a good fight for him to have. You know what I mean? And, and we'll just see. And then you move on from there and you see what the next fight is. But so far, so good. I like it, man. Little boys, either way, them boys in camp. No scared of any smoke. Facts. Talk to him. Ricky Williams. Salute to my bro, man. Appreciate you, fam. 28 years old and his first and only shot. You better believe he's going to be ready, ready. Facts. Derek James is going to have Frank Martin ready, ready, bro. Frank Martin is going to be ready, ready. You know, this is an opportunity for him. You get what I'm saying? Like this, 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 this could change his life. This can change a lot of different things for him. If he win this fight, you think he ain't going to prepare? I see no poop hut, no sucker in Frank Martin. I don't see no guy that's going to be laying down, that's going to be short on confidence or any of that stuff. And for those reasons, the fight is going to be a damn good fight. He's going to be well prepared. And I think he's going to do his damn best to come out here and win. You get what I'm saying? I just feel like, you know, the other guy is just on a different level. Now, I can be wrong. I can say anything, but we're going to see how the fight play out. But I gave both guys they credit. They just do. They both, uh, you know, Hell of five talents in the sport, and I just can't wait to see him lock up. This is why we want to see these fights, because anything can happen despite who I think going in. You get what I'm saying? You still got to go in there and prove it. You get what I'm saying? I think we're going to see the best Shakur this far, especially at the above performance at, at against Earl. I think that's going to motivate Shakur more. I think I think it could, too, Quincy. You get what I'm saying? You just soak up the game, man, and you prepare. You get what I'm saying? I think his preparation is going to be key for this fight. You get what I'm saying? I think I think they looking to shut some people up, too, to be honest with you. Big fast as Shakur be fighting tomato cans. Um, I just look at things differently than that, bro. I can name you his notable wins, man. Like I, I, I can go over this all o over and over again, bro. I know who the solid wins is for him, but again, this would be a more of a 50-50 fight. So this would, you know, this cop gotta, you know, this is shut some people up. But every fighter fought some tomato cans, if that's the word you want to use. Every every fighter has fought tomato cans, not just Shakur. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think people forget that that dude is with just 20 fights. He's a two division former unified champion with 20 fights. He beats Frank Martin. He will be a three division champion. And people still talk about ah, he only fight this. He only fight that. When we just sat here and seen how many people turn him down before they got to Frank Martin. William Zapata, no. Pitbull Cruz, no. You get what I'm saying? Lomachenko, no. Frank Martin, like the real one he is, yes. See the difference? So, again, just think about the, the, the guys that people are telling us are credible fighters that said no. We always got to put that up there. We're going to talk about who we fight. Let's talk about the guys that are better 
that are better than these other dudes on his resume and they still said no i wonder why you get what i'm saying we're gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about it for real a damn mess salute family salute to you bro appreciate you pulling up salute to dc dc is in the building salute to you bro y'all smash that like button sub to the channel if y'all haven't we're gonna keep rocking man we're gonna keep rocking let me scroll all the way to the bottom salute to everybody mike biggs boxing my bro what's good with it family again this is gonna be a fun fight i i i like to be uh fair over here and i like to get both guys they credit man i see areas of success for both guys they they can fight their ass off but the both of these dudes you know what i mean yeah big highs you already know man there you already know but you know this is crazy because big highs none of that none of the none of the uh hate came till you got the 35. nobody was even saying nothing now they complaining telling you man like you we we have to learn to put things in perspective if you're gonna we're gonna be guys that complain about who guys are fighting let's 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 put in perspective the guys that we say are better that that don't want to fight them you get what i'm saying that i have an issue with that like we gotta we gotta talk about that it's a reason he ended up fighting yoshino and not pitbull cruz or williams and Peter. you get what i'm saying it's it, <laughs> yo y'all gotta stop with the narrative joe Yo, Josh Warrington, Josh Warrington knows that he ain't duck him. It's funny, a fan, a fan to get in the chat and be like, yo, such and such duck, such and such. Then you can ask that same fighter, did, did Shakur duck you? And he'll tell you no. So if you believe that, you're a fool. And who really, who in here believe Josh Warrington is skilled enough to be Shakur Stevenson? For real, bro? Like some shit I just really don't need to see to know the outcome. That dude just not on that level. He is not on that level. They ain't never, that dude would have been fooled anytime he would have stepped in the ring with Shakur. Pick their fighter and be respectful about it. Team Shakur here. Talk to him, Mike. You know what I mean? Talk to him, my bro. Man, he would be lucky to have a star whoop his ass. <laughs> Dad sent your little bro a contract. I don't know what bro you talking about. I did, but I digress. He gave me a fight I want. My chat, uh, fate was good with it, bro. And Frank, my brain with Shakur. Right. Right, man. Look, even DJ can say he got his ass beat by a Hall of Famer. <laughs> man. Jose did not want to fight Shakur. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. Listen, I I I just don't, you know, Josh Warrington ain't it, bro. That ain't the guy. That dude would have got stepped on. And y'all should know that. Skillfully, like you should know that. Josh Warrington ain't that. Then y'all see this dude get flatlined. Then he get knocked out. Who knocked Josh Warrington out? Then somebody stretch him. Like, that's not the guy, bro. We talking about talent and skill, real, real talent. Like, not some dude that's good where he from. That's all That's all Josh Warrington truly is. He just good where he from. No disrespect to him. Hell of a fighter where he from. He come over here where, where the smoke really at, and you'll see how, how many losses he'll have on his resume. It's crazy. Another man down at a promotion. It's a good fight. No problem here. Right. It's a great fight. Great fight to watch, man. Great fight to watch. And, um... It's like you you say you have an issue with him ducking Haney, then you you I guess you can you can push that narrative. If you somebody that believed that either of them two dudes ducked each other while the fight didn't happen, then have at it. Just do don't argue stuff that just don't have substance to it. So if you're gonna say he ducked them, then have at it. I ain't arguing that. I just think Shakur and Frank Martin are gonna be a damn good fight. I can't wait to see uh Haney and Regis Progre, you know, figure out their business and uh, what they say, late November, early December, so they can get a fight. You get what I'm saying? That's all I care about. The rhetoric is going to be the rhetoric. People going to always say what they say, wild stuff with no substance. Again, this is the problem with boxing. When we got quality fighters in the sport, the only thing we do is want to put duck jackets on them. Then when we got fighters that's really ducking, they get they fly under the radar. You get what I'm saying? I don't get it. None of these dudes can, can back that Shakur Steven has – has ever turned down a fight with any of these dudes not one dude could say it not Devin haney and nobody else it should be full of shit. it'd be a lie you get what i'm saying as soon as it was time for him to fight what people are saying is the best guy on his resume and frank martin look how look how both guys is willing to take the challenge immediately ain't nobody pussyfooting around ain't nobody playing no games they just fight they ready to fight and that's what i want to see from here on out i don't really care about the rhetoric the back and forth the duck talk that stuff don't get fights At the end of the day these dudes the fighters fight, man. When two dudes want to fight, a fight is made. When the business lines up, a fight is made. You get what I'm saying? And for a belt too, what's on the line in this fight? The WBC strap. That WBC strap. Yeah, right. Haney Duck Shakur. 
Yeah, I mean, she, somebody in here saying Shakur ducked him. So I, I, I never, I never pushed either narrative. I always say either guy didn't duck either guy. But you know, you, these dudes be in here pushing narratives. Breezy and Devin was a fight I never expected to stir up as soon. Yeah, me too. I didn't expect that fight to, uh, you know, be the first fight for him at um, 140. But I'm glad that it is because I think it's a good fight. You catching Regis where he didn't look his best, so people thinking a certain way about him, right? And I think when he get up in there, it's going to be a better fight than what people think. I ain't saying he's going to win. It's going to be a better fight than people think. I think it's a reason Regis only looked that way in one of his fights. You get what I'm saying? I don't think that's a repeat a performance out of Regis. Pitbull ducked him. Yeah, Pitbull did. Pitbull, Zepeda, Loma. Cambosa said, no, I wouldn't say he ducked him, but I say no. So for me, if we talk about Shakur, Pitbull said no. William Zepeda said no. Loma said no. Well, you know what I mean? Uh, and Cambosa said he was cool. So uh, everybody, anybody else, Devin Haney, I, I don't have that energy for Dev. I don't think he ducked him. Dev, why you ducking? Throw those strap season. <laughs> Boo-boo and Tank. Be the ducks. Man. Opulent LDTV. Blessings, Brody. How you feeling? They, they take my dispute. I'm not fighting no one. Yeah, he turned out to fight because that's your man's. It's a lie. You terrible. Are you, uh, man, listen. One thing I don't do, don't, don't make me to be somebody I'm not. I have real conversations, real bills. If you trolling, that's one thing. But um, pushing lies and narratives, I don't even let people keep typing bullshit in the chat. Like, you, if you gonna type something, let it be of substance. Like, don't keep saying pushing a narrative that's in my duck, and, and you don't got no information. You get what I'm saying? You gotta get your you gotta get your ducks in a row, man. That's what's wrong with boxing. We spew too much rhetoric, man. You get what I'm saying? You get a real fighter like a Shakur or like a Devin Haney, and you rather put a duck jacket on them instead of support what they're doing. It's weird to me. Now I mean, these dudes don't. <laughs> right. They're not fighting. That's why I say I don't even understand why they still talk about it. We got Frank Martin and Shakur. So that Devin Haney and Shakur, that boxing it that work itself out. That fight will happen in due time. Got to be cut through the next time. He said, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts, cuz of facts. 25% of Twitter is not <laughs> in fact the offer. Yeah. Yeah, man. They could they could have fun with that. That's why they hanging a hat on that. The same people that believe he should have took 25% is the same people that believe he turned down eight million. So if y'all those people, I, I'm not concerned. We'll even talk up to y'all about boxing when it comes to that topic. But anyway, we're gonna keep this conversation on what what really matters. It's not a Haney and Shakur thing. We ain't doing that. Haney is fighting Regis Progray, like I said, Eddie Hearn reported uh, late November, early December. That's great for boxing. We know they fat, that fight is still on. Um, they working out some fine details. I hear they still working out if they want to put it on pay-per-view or not. So look, whether it's, whether it's on pay-per-view or not, when it comes to Devin and Regis, I'm supporting it. I'm going to watch it. I don't have a dog in a race. May the best man win. You get what I'm saying? I really don't care who win or lose, right? You get what I'm saying? But I do want to see the fight. It's a good fight for boxing. Regis is a good, it's an intriguing fight. Regis is fighting a guy that can move pretty well. He's disciplined on the outside. You get what I'm saying? He can box his ass off on the outside. We just seen Regis in a fight where he struggled. You get what I'm saying? You got Devin Haney moving up from a weight class where he was drained at. He's going to feel a lot better at 140. But at the same time, he didn't even acclimate to the weight class. He just went straight for Regis. If you can't respect that, I don't know what to tell you, but I respect it. So I like the fights. I don't really want to talk about the rhetoric no more. Y'all can have it. I don't care who y'all think duck. Y'all can have all them talking points. That stuff me is meaningless to me because, you know, it don't mean nothing, right? It's just back and forth, right? So at the end of the day, I believe the, the more important picture is the fights that we truly are getting right now. And that's 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 Shakur and Frank Martin. And that's Devin Haney and uh, Regis Progre. That's Dave, David Benavidez and Demetrius Andre. And back to my point, which initially brought me here. Do y'all see how good November and December is kind of shaping out when we get in these fights? These are all good fights for the sport of boxing. What I just named are all 50 50 type fights. So if you don't want to see those fights, you don't like boxing. You get what I'm saying? They all 50 50. As a boxing fan, that's what you that's what you demand, right? 50 50 fights. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's some but again, big facts. I keep telling you, bro, the super fan don't exist over here. I'm a I'm a supporter, but not a super fan. I just call it how I see it. Like you get what I'm saying? And I don't push narratives. You know what I mean? Most people push narratives. Ant McLean was good with it, fam. Without a challenge, I'd be willing to scrap with our own family over like five dollars, man. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. Much Dev, I ain't gonna like it, but I'm gonna watch it because I love boxing, right? 
maybe suck a time. I'm gonna I'm enjoy this fight. Just do get it right. Shakur turned out eight, <laughs> eight trillion. <laughs> uh, is it trillion? Is it a trillion? And we ain't never got a box Ter again. Well, right. well, 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 well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. To my bro, Big Dog Willie, again in that super chat. Much love and appreciate it. I keep telling y'all, I can't account for all the super fans in boxing. I have no, you know, I don't care about nothing these other dudes push. For me, I'm always realistic. I'm always fair. I'm always solid. I just don't push narratives. You get what I'm saying? But he turned down a big, and, and again, I'm going to say this again for people that just like, I don't know why y'all can't get this through y'all heads. Uh, this is the last time I'm saying this. For y'all to keep saying he turned down a fight. Can y'all show me where he turned that fight down? Can y'all show me what, what evidence do you have to back that back up that he turned the fight down? He turned 25% down. Got his team to contact the sanctioning bodies to make a case why he deserves more than 25%. They never put a percentage on it. They just said they made a case and put his numbers in there. It's ticket sales and things like that and made a case as to why they did, felt like he deserved more than that. He never said no to the fight. He said no to 25%. That's not the same thing. At that point, after he contacts the sanctioning bodies and they write that letter, now negotiations have to take place. That never happened. That never happened. Stop saying he turned down a fight. He didn't turn shit down, but 25%. That we found out out of the words of Bob Aram's mouth that it had no substance to it. And people still want to argue it. Take something that had no fucking substance to it is wild to me. People sitting at home that don't get punched in their face at all are telling another man, yeah, for my entertainment, take pennies on a dollar. Jazz is out of here, man. You can tell you ain't never been punched in your face before. Because you damn sure ain't doing it because some, for some of my entertainment. For some damn belts that you're going to have to pay for. I keep telling people they miss... They miss it. I ain't leaving nothing out. It's 100%. That's exactly how that played out. This is exactly what happened. They said he wouldn't contact. They said he wouldn't activate the mandatory, which you can't do. The man the man got his people to contact them sanctioning bodies, and then they moved the goalpost by saying he took too long to do it. Then they further, then they further, then after the letter, they further moved the goalpost and said, now he's pricing himself out. He's asking 50-50. Child ass is out of here, man. Yeah, yeah, nah, man. Fact of the matter is, your man ain't fighting at 35 no more. Stop making a case as to why he would have actually fought Shakur Stevenson depleted. Stop, because y'all don't miss that. Y'all don't believe that shit. You don't believe that. Who in here really believes that he was willing to fight Shakur Stevenson depleted when he didn't even wasn't even willing to stand in the ring with him? Miss me with that. Y'all pushing fantasies now. And again, I want to be very clear. It was, it's not a matter of him being scared as to why he wasn't going to fight him there because business-wise, it makes no sense for me to risk everything I built off bravado. Why am I going to risk everything I built, my record, my money, everything I built just to be depleted to make a fight? He's never, he never was going to do that. Never. So y'all got to miss me with all that nonsense, man. Now, now moving on for the super Haney fans in here. Get that weird, weak energy out of here. 25% had no substance. Get over it, bro. Get over it. And then if he really wanted to fight, then they would have negotiated after he contacted the sanctioning bodies. Why didn't that take place? Miss me with that. He turned it down. He ain't turned shit down but 25%. Y'all got to get y'all facts in order, man. Fact, Get your facts in order. Stop believing everything somebody tell you with no fucking validity or substance to it, bro. Y'all just be repeating this wild, weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, he turned the fight down. Biggest payday of his career because they said so. What? How are y'all going to tell me that a guy that is not known as a big draw is going to ensure another fighter his biggest payday? How in the hell? What do y'all got to back that off? Off of what? He ain't no tank. Tank gets guys they highest payday. Y'all act like he tank or something. Knock it off, bro. Stop doing that shit. Stop doing it, bro. That conversation is dead. We got a real fight with Frank Martin and Shakur. Y'all still want to run in circles with Haney and, and Shakur Steven. That shit ain't happening. You get what I'm saying? It ain't happening. You didn't believe when Bob came to Bud, but now you believe. Hey, I don't know who you is, Joker, but you don't know what the hell I believe because I don't know you. I haven't seen you in here, and you don't know what the hell I believe. You ain't never hear me speak on Bud and Bob and none of that goofy. 
Shut up. Stop coming in here just saying anything. I'm tired of y'all. I'm not playing with y'all no more. When y'all come over here, if y'all want to support the grind, be part of the conversation, just be part of the conversation. But don't just spew rhetoric and bullshit. Be, be a grown man when you come in here, joker. You get what I'm saying? You don't know what I think about that situation because you ain't never heard me speak on it. Goofy. He was never going to do what EJ did. Salute to my bro, uh, 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 Ricky Williams, in that super chat. Much love and appreciate. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time like, yeah. for you to get your just do. Child, man. Yeah. One thing I'm, I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna set this straight for the people that rock with me. Smash that like button. Sub to the channel for the people that want to be a distraction and want to argue boxing. Go take your feminine ass somewhere and argue. I don't like to argue boxing. I want to go back and forth. We don't do that. We build on boxing. I want to go back and forth about rhetoric, bro. That shit don't mean nothing. I'm going to say this and I'm going to mean this. This go for all y'all super fans. Y'all dudes spent so much time talking about everything else. All this rhetoric that I ain't heard one of you super, super Haney fans tell me one time yet how the hell Devin Haney beat Shakur Stevenson in a boxing ring. You know why? Because you, you guys are feminine. You rather argue about the shit that has no substance to it. None of that stuff will matter when they fight. None of it. None of it. Let's talk about real boxing. Stop going back and forth about what people think. You don't know what I think about Bud and Bob. We ain't talking about that. Try weird asses on. Y'all want to argue boxing? Go somewhere else. I know plenty of places where they do that, and we don't do that here. So if y'all want to have an opinion, be respectful, and, and have make comments that's of some substance. Don't just come in here saying anything. Y'all want to argue. Get y'all asses out of here. Y'all don't even do y'all homework. Y'all dudes don't do your own homework. Y'all follow what the content creators say. When they dress up a story and feed it to you, y'all just take it as gospel. It's not that. A lot of dudes out here pushing narratives, bro. And that's what's wrong with boxing. We don't do that over here. We. We don't do that. Man, I ain't talking about that no more, bro. I ain't talking about that. Y'all y'all, y'all ain't going to have your own conversation. Y'all could talk to yourself about that. Again, y'all, seven grams. What's good with it, family? How you feeling, my bro? We're going to talk about real boxing. Y'all can have a Shakur and Devin Haney conversation. We're going to talk about something that's really coming up. Frank Martin and Shakur. A real fight. It, that didn't take months and stuff to put together because I truly think both guys is about to smoke and they're going to want to fight. You get what I'm saying? And on top of that, Frank Martin is not depleted at the division. He's not outgrown 35 like Devin Haney. So what? You know what we're going to get? We're going to actually get a fight. Tim, my bro, what's good with it? You get what I'm saying? Get these dudes out of here. Y'all want to argue. Go, go, go somewhere with that feminine energy. Y'all still talking about 25% that Bob Aram, the guy that would have been putting on the fight, told you had no substance, and you still want to argue. That tells me what kind of person you are. That tells me what kind of person you are. I'm sick of playing with you people, bro. Like, how old are some of you dudes? Y'all got to grow up and start paying attention, bro. Start paying attention. The man said, told you what he needed to know, and you still want to argue about it. I don't want to argue about that. Martin and Stevenson going to be great. Facts, Edgar. Facts, bro. We're going to see a real good 50-50 fight that either guy could win. Respect to both guys. They either guy could win. You get what I'm saying? But I think the guy that's going to win is the guy that some people look as a generational talent. And that is Shakur Stevenson. I could be wrong. Frank Martin has a chance to win. He's athletic. He's strong. You get what I'm saying? He's a two-handed fighter. You get what I'm saying? An athletic guy. He's smart. You get what I'm saying? He's crafty in there and he's about to smoke. I love me some Frank Mark, but I think, you know, I think he got his work cut out for him against Shakur. I think it's going to be a good fight, but a dominant, a, do a convincing win for Shakur, a convincing win. Not, not, not a debatable. When the fight is over, we're going to be like, damn, he put on. That's what I feel like. People going to look at that fight and say, yeah, he went out there and did his damn thing. You get what I'm saying? If Frank Martin win, I feel like it's going to be the same thing. He went out there and did his damn thing because Frank Martin is a, is a damn good talent in the sport. I'm glad he got an opportunity to fight for a belt. You get what I'm saying? I'm glad he got an opportunity to fight for a belt. Let him get it, man. He His opportunity is is, is, is long overdue. He's 28. He needed. it. wasn't going to happen. Yeah, yeah, facts. It wasn't. It wasn't. Because you know why, Rick? Because we knew about everything. We knew about it. The minute it went on social media, the fight was never happening. And again, again, I'm going to say this. A lot of stuff like all that forcing people to fight and, you know, all that weird business. That stuff don't happen when fights get made. I want people to know that. I want people to know that. I want people to know that. You know what I'm saying? People, fights don't get made. Fights, shit, all that extra shit don't go on when fights want to get made, when people want to make fights. 
people are willing to negotiate and do real business, not not do bullshit for the fans and, and the media. You know what I'm saying? To jump all over it. People got to start doing their own homework, bro. Trey Green official was good. What he said, 50 50. Ooh, 50 50. Yeah, undercard boxing was good with. It. I guess your core ain't hard to negotiate with. Right, right, undercard. Because that guy really wanted to fight him. Being boxing news was good with it, fam. Jay Grant said, I got Frank. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I like both fighters. I just stated cases with both going. B and boxing news was good with it. Cecil, my bro, was, was good with it. Yeah, I think Shakur got a higher IQ. I think he got more experience in the pro ranks. I think he got a, a, a higher ceiling, more pedigree. You get what I'm saying? That's all. I think Frank got all the tools necessary to get the win, but I just think Shakur is going to be on another level. I think we're going to see one of his best performances of his career because I think he facing the fighter to make him raise his level, right? So I think that's what we'll see. If I'm wrong, I'll be right here to cry a little bit with y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'll be here to cry with y'all a little bit. You know, just do a cry a little bit with y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're going to cry, but I'm going to do my crying in the car. I might do a little bit on stream while my intro playing. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be all right when the camera come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be all right when the camera come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be all good. I'll be all good. We'll get over it. You know what I'm saying? We'll regroup. You know what I'm saying? My boy, take a loss. We'll regroup and get back, you know? Because the thing is, regardless of who, I, who I'm who i going for, I, when you love boxing, you know, you could be gutted that your guy lost, but it's boxing. And, you know, and that's part of that's part of boxing. It's, you win some, you lose some. You get what I'm saying? But ultimately, the more important thing is us seeing a great fight. You get what I'm saying? A fight that's worth our time and our money. You get what I'm saying? So that's, that's where I'm at with it. I want people to pick who they picking because... I ain't straddling the fence. Frank Martin about to get beat up. Frank Martin about to get took to school, man. Let me say that. Got to see him in tank. I love to see him in tank. Anytime I can get it. Shakur 8020. And that's why. <laughs> tank was working out of jail with the shape ready to go. All he needs is a cap now. He's good to go. Yeah, Tank going to be right. Tank going to put that pain into his next opponent. So, you know, I'll definitely, you know, whoever Tank next opponent is, good luck. I'll be out of Shakur Rose, but we got to fight. We want right. That's what I. That's you know. Ultimately, like I'll have fun with it. I'll be mad my boy lost, but I. I ain't gonna be like crying for real. Like you know, I salute Frank Martin and give him his credit for beating that fighter that I looked at as one of the best that we got. That's what I'm all about. Y'all gotta get one thing about me. I'm just dude. They gonna fighter gonna get their credit, bro. If I don't do nothing else, I'm gonna give you your credit, man. Shakur gonna be fake. Jerry, what's good with it? Jerry, appreciate you pulling up. But right, I'll be hot too. I wanted a new. New York too on 12 9, right? I mean, six date is a Thursday, right? I don't like the Thursday date either, Aisha. I think that's weak. I think if you get what I'm saying, they should go with the other date simply simply because of that. That Thursday date is weak. And he la he even laughed at that. Aisha, somebody said, Yeah, man, I love the fight, but I just hate the fact that it's on a Thursday. <laughs> and he started, he, Shakur laughed at it. He thought it was funny <laughs> fighting on a day on Thursday. Tank fighting Cruz. Isak. Isak. Salute to everybody in the building, man. The real ones, man. Y'all smash that like button, sub to the channel. We're going we gonna to cook for a little while longer, man. Um, again, man, this is this is what boxing need. I think this year has been great. I think um, November and December, you get what I'm saying? October, even October, you get what I'm saying? I think these going to all be important months for the, for, the, for the year, to end this year off strong. But I think November and December, we got some, some good fights brewing. Like I said, you got a Demetrius Andre and David Benavidez coming. Like that's I'm hearing that's gonna be around that time. You get what I'm saying? Then you got Frank Martin, Shakur, you got Haney and Progray. Got some good fights to look forward to, bro. And they're all 50-50 caliber type fights, right? So where either guy could win, right? You get what I'm saying? Andre definitely on his A game, he could beat a, 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 a David Benavidez, right? And vice versa. Same thing with Shakur and Frank and, and Haney and, and Progray. The end of the day, those are the type of fights you want to see, despite who you're going for. Anytime you, you get to see a fight worth your money, we doing good, man. Who fighting on a Thursday? Yeah, that um that November day, Big Dog Willie is a Thursday. So Shakur, they saying either gonna be November 16th, that date is a Thursday, or uh, uh December 9th. But that date is a Saturday, I believe. So I would prefer the 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 you know the Saturday date, me personally, but we'll see. Salute to Tim. What's good with it, Tim? December for Boo Boo and David. Yeah, right. So that's what I'm saying. These, these, you know, November and December are going to be like some good months. October, I don't know. Now I don't know so much right, right off the bat, but I know to end the year off, the November and December dates look, look solid, bro. They look solid. 
<clears throat> more skilled than Shakur Steven, not close at all. Yeah, man. I mean, it's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be he's gonna show levels, he's gonna show separation, he's gonna say he's gonna show pedigree. I keep saying that Frank Martin is gonna show why he's a dog. He's gonna show that Derek James schooling. He's gonna show how prepared he is. He's gonna show you that he came near to win and not lay down. And that's what we're gonna get from him. We're gonna get a valiant effort. We're gonna get a damn good performance. He's not gonna lay down and no round of the fight. I don't see it. You get what I'm saying? He's gonna be competing as long as the fight is gone. That's just what it is. I just think from round to round, I think Shakur will outthink him. I think he'll outthink him and outpoint him. You get what I'm saying? That's all. You know what I mean? And if it get too crazy, you know what I mean? Then he then he'll he might be in trouble. You know what I'm saying? If he get too crazy. Possible dates. Yap, yap, 11, 16, yap, and 12, 9. And um for for Haney and Pro Gray, they said uh late November, early December. So that sounds like the same thing almost, right? So that's why I said November, November, December could turn out to be some good months, depending on when these fights fall, right? So I mean, and then you get a David Benavidez and Andre, man, on the back end. That's great. It's great for boxing, bro. I, I need we and again, we should be advocates. All of us should want to see these fights. They all good fights. They all 50-50 action, 50-50 type action. You know what I'm saying? Personally, I feel like Keyshawn Davis will have a better fight for Frank, but I'm satisfied. Yeah, I keep hearing some people saying that, but I think you, if you just look at it, I think they slightly at different points of their careers. I think Keyshawn, you get what I'm saying? You got half the fights Frank got. So I think it's and Frank got to get a move on it, right? So he need a title opportunity. You get what I'm saying? He 28. So just think about it. Like he gotta get a move on it. Bole, what's good with it, bro? How you feeling? Shakur, real student in the fight game. Absolutely. And I hear the way he locked in right now is this the most he's been locked in in his career. Boxing matchups. D free. What's good, my bro? This the most out. Yeah, he definitely got. You got it. Ko definitely just got a press forward fighter that throws a lot of punches and get out stronger fighters. Give him props for sure. Ghost, did he have a knee injury for the Demond fight? Oh, he talking about uh, Boo Boo Andre. Just might not be Andre Benavides, probably because Jose said there's nothing to win against Andre. Andre been signed and her none back. Yeah, if they, I mean, if they messed that up, that's unfortunate, yo. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I ain't gonna lie to you, Ghost. I'm, a, I'm growing a little bit tired of um, Team Benavides. Like, and the reason why I'm saying this because it seemed like when it be time to make some of these fights that that are challenges for them. It seemed like he conveniently get in the way. And we seen what they just did with David Morrell. Y'all went from tagging David Morrell on social media, calling him out, saying it's time to stop the talk and fight, to saying he got to build his name. Then y'all moved on. Now you got Benavidez and Andre lined up. Andre saying he Andre saying he signed already, right? He's saying he signed already. And here we go with Team Benavidez and his pops talking more BS. It's, it's annoying, bro. He got to do better, man. You gotta do better. My co-workers, casual boxing fans, they asked me today what I think about Canelo versus Charlo. But then I'm going with my part for the sport. I'm doing my part for the sport. <laughs> Salute to my bro, man. Undercar boxing, man. In that cash app, man. Much love and appreciation, Undercar. Salute to you, bro. And we ain't never got to box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. To my guy, Undercar. Hey, that's going to be another good fight. Shakur Tavern contract at the end. You feel like PBC would be the best landing spot for him. Hey, man. Hey, Trey Green. Salute to you, bro. Smash that like button sub to the channel if you haven't. That, that'd be a good uh, that'd be a good move for him, Trey. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. Because if you just look at the landscape, who's really over there on top rank that he'll really, really need to fight, right? Or want to fight. So if any time I feel like if you truly got an opportunity to uh, Jaime versus Belinga next, I'll watch that. The second morale sign, they disappeared. This is what I'm saying. It, it, it's just get, it's getting corny. But yeah, man. Um, Trey, PBC, hell yeah, that's where the smoke at. Go right where the smoke at. Go right where the smoke at. The battle of Davis having you fired up. I'm telling you, thinking we're gonna see it, but I want to know what's the real hold up. Like they went from calling this dude out to saying he gotta build his name up. It's annoying. Like, what's up? Why y'all do that? A boo boo versus Benavidez fight. Something I want to see. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. They got to make that. And Billy versus Nicholson next. That is, that is the energy switch. I'm telling you, Bole. I'm telling you, something switched up. <laughs> they talking about he juicing. Yeah, don't do that to Andre. He ain't juicing, man. JJ, salute, fam. How you feeling? 
Andre then Juice, and he's 35 and he's ready to get a, a move on it. He need meaningful fights, bro. And I don't see why this can't be the one. 35. That's what I'm saying. It shouldn't take this much to get this fight worked out. That's the frustrating part, man. Like we they gotta come on with the BS, man. I'm starting to feel like it's his pops. I mean, Vida's trying to move like Canelo. He he says, good luck with that. And Morel signed last year. So Morel waited 12 months and they said no after. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, he is, cuzzo. He damn sure is. And Billy is going that's gonna be a tough fight for um. It's gonna be a tough fight for bro. It's gonna definitely be a tough fight for him for sure. <clears throat> Pardon me, y'all. Uh, it's kind of these spectacles, man. Y'all smash that like button for me, man. We are gonna keep rolling. Like again, Benavidez and Mar and Morel didn't happen. I thought we was getting that member. And then that switch because he said he need to build his name. Then we got Benavidez and, and Andre. And then the fact that we might not get it because, because they, they moving funny, I don't like it. I think I had enough of the antics, yo, the back and forth. Like, we see that Demetrius Andre is willing and ready to, to make this fight, and I just don't understand what the holdup is. Like, you get him saying, I don't get it. He been signed, right? He, he said he been signed. Andre need this one. He dedicating this to his mom. And right, man. Salute to him, man. Prayers of Demetrius Andre, man. Salute to the fam on the building. Salute to my guy, Seven Grams, man. Appreciate you, fam. I'm pulling up. Yeah, I punch on the like button for me. Say Andre already encounter. Know what else he could do? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what's the hold up at this point? Get what I'm saying? Is he fighting or not? You know what I'm saying? Is y'all fighting and all? You did. Y'all fighting and all. I want to see the fight. I'm gonna see it, man. A lot of people count Andre it out. They think he'll just get he they say he's gonna get he's just gonna get handled, bro. Say Andre just gonna get handled and dead dirty. So we got to they they got to show me, man. Got to show me. Got to show me. I want to see it, bro. I want to see it. Hmm. <laughs> And maybe I right, look at Oscar. Oscar's still salty, man. Boy, this dude, this one dude that's not gonna get over the fact that he lost the fluid. Like he can't get over this man, can't get over it. Yo, he takes shots at fluid whenever he could, bro. <laughs> this dude won't stop, bro. Good seeing you with the guy I beat. Boy, you ain't beat. He still ain't get over it. This boy, somebody, somebody phone Oscar and tell him he ain't win that fight, bro. I'm handling and doing dirty. I mean, you need to you need to see it at this point. You need to see it. Like I would think, I would think now would be the time to fight Demetrius Andre more so than ever. Like you, he 35, he he in and he inactive, he coming off injuries. They said he looked bad in his last out and his legs is all over the place. Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't be in a rush to fight that dude. You better get him now. You get him saying better to get him now, right? Rocha got a fight next. Who they say he fighting? Fuck Rocha fighting. Fuck out who they said Rocha fighting next. Oscar De La Fishnet, I'm telling you, bro. All he do is hate. Somebody need to tell Oscar that he ain't win that fight, bro, because he still don't get it. He still don't get it. Boy, still don't get it, man. But which fight, man? Y'all talk to me while we still in here building on these fights. What fights out of these is y'all excited for the most, man? What fight y'all want to see the most out of these three, man? Benavidez, Andre, Haney, Progre. You get what I'm saying? Shakur, Frank Martin. Santiago something, right? It is something. Somebody just told me about him. He got a fight coming up, bro. You shit on top because his mom just passed, right? I, I, I would love to see him get that fight, bro. Because it ain't no reason why he can't get it. Like, I, I just don't see no reason for it, bro. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Santilla. Oh, Santillian, right? Santillian or something like that? Is his name Santillian? Oscar got some milk. Max for clean action. <laughs> Tired of Oscar, bro. He won't stop, man. Oscar won't stop. Mel and Canelo. Okay. See, you you got it. I should be hearing me, man. They ain't even hearing me. Yeah, I, I just hate the fact that he fighting that uphill battle. And the fact that Canelo got an iron chin is going to be hard to knock him out. And the fact that he already possibly going to start this fight two, three rounds behind is, is, is troublesome for, for him. It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. He do make mistakes in the fight. Canelo is crafty. He got a ton of experience. 
He got the judges on his side. So it's going to be a tough fight, but it's still a fight that, you know, with the right executed game plan, Charlo can win. He do got all the skills and stuff necessary to win this fight, but he's just fighting a lot. He, he fighting against the elements right now. I'm gonna make a video on Tyler with the Care Bears. <laughs> Cause over there acting up. I can't wait for Charles Canelo so I can see Canelo bought him. Hopefully he ain't too old yet. Frank and Shakur, right? Bolo said we know the Beaver was down four rounds going in. You get what I'm saying? And that and that and we all know how that fight played out. Kyle Sports was good with it, Brody. How you feeling? Oscar get some Oscar some milk and Kleenex. Yeah, he tripping. He's still salty over that loss, bro. Somebody tell him he ain't win. You know what I mean? Not watching Charlo Canelo. I'm gonna just watch the stream over here and eat some rice and peas. Like Canelo, buddy, bitch on the Beaver rematch because Beaver wanted that 168 for the belts. Yeah, he said he said he claimed that Beaver started asking for stuff. Like that what he said. That what he claimed. Beaver started asking for stuff. I just don't. Beaver wanted, you know, to be treated like a champion. That's what he said, and he wasn't ready to do that. So we should have known how he was going to move. Yeah, that is a fight coming up. Boom. Hitchens. Hitchens and uh, 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 Zapata. That's going to be a damn good fight. That's going to be a good fight. I mean, it's going to be a good fight for um for Hitchens because he's going to beat the hell out of Zapata. I ain't going to lie. I think he's going to style on Zapata. I don't know if he's going to stop him, right? If he stop him, maybe be a TKO stoppage on points or something like that i mean uh you know tko stoppage ref stoppage corner stoppage something like that but uh -huh. like i think he's gonna be he's gonna embarrass him i think i think hitch is gonna be the paid up pretty good right at canelo on swole yeah you see how he had his nose tray looking like rudolph he had his nose he had a man looking like rudolph bro got a feeling order might move up after the next fight yeah he he mentioned it. He said, "Ghost." He said he want. He said he want the undisputed fight, and he then he'll move up. Better be. He said he want the undisputed fight, and he'll move up. Benavidez said he got three three more fights at sixty eight, and he moving up to seventy five. We will be back. Yeah, December uh the second or the ninth undercard. The second or the ninth. I'm ready for the Spence Crawford rematch too. I'm with you, man. I wonder. I hope. I hope uh, that Bo Mac situation working out for him, man. I hope that situation work out. Man, he lost. He man, he lost all the fighters, <laughs> and with the loss, right, right, Bole. I like Hitchens versus the Pay. It's a good fight, man. It's a good um solid name on the resume for Hitchens if he can pull off an impressive win, which I think he will. You know what I'm saying? Like Big Bang versus Joe Joyce. You see what I'm saying? All these fights, Lubin, Ramos. Look at all these fights, man. It's a lot of good fights. That's why I was saying ain't no sense of arguing about the stuff we ain't getting because we got real fights, 50-50 type fights that we should enjoy. Salute to the Sensei Stormy B, man. The class is in session. How you feeling, OG? Yes, I think it's Kat. This day would never get undisputed. Yeah, got Hitchens, Zang, and Ramos for the win. I'm with that too, man. I'm with that too because um, I think I got Hitchens by – um domination i think he's gonna dominate zapata you know i ain't saying it can't be competitive and have moments but i think overall i think he'll dominate that fight um i think lubin is in tough i don't just want to count him out say he's gonna get stopped but i think that's gonna be a very tough fight for him to win ramos is a dog but lubin lubin can handle himself he just gotta box that kid you gotta box him and be smart but i think you know ultimately ramos will pull it off and i think big bang i just don't see joe joyce changing up enough defensively to be successful and beat big bang like get, get he just he got obliterated in the first fight it just wasn't close he's on juice with angel he's still scared to move up i don't get it he said he said three more fights ghost he said three more fights and he moving up three more fights at 68 and he he out of there watching kermel mo he's gonna be a problem i like i like kermel i'm gonna watch him close because i know i know early when you see a kid young like that working i know a lot of the a lot of this stuff pertaining to him could be hype. Could be. I'm not saying it is. So I just want to watch him close and make sure he he is who they're saying he's going to be, right? Because already one red flag that I seen that I didn't like with the Carmel Moten is them trying to peg him out to be the next Tank. And then when I seen him fight, he fights nothing like Tank. The only thing they got in common is they light skin in they box. 
You dig what I'm saying? Like they styles are nothing, not even remotely the same. Kermel Moten is like a buzzsaw in there. Like he got a crazy work rate. You give him tank, don't fight like that. Like they fight nothing alike. And you know, he's a, still a kid. So, you know, I don't know if he'll develop that type of punching power, but he clearly ain't punching like a Tank Davis right now. I ain't saying he can't punch in none of that, but he's young, 17. Don't put that on him. That's a lot to put on him. Yeah, the next Tank Davis. You no, know, he's the only Kermel Moten. That should be enough for boxing. I don't know why they do that all the time. That's, yeah, it's like we ain't going to get it. Me, I don't think so either, Ghost. I don't think so. Man, speaking of him, Cuzzo, did you hear the latest on Blair Cobb? Boy, that boy said he he hits a little bit harder than Crawford, and he's ridiculously faster than him. Yo, I'm telling you, that dude could sell it, bro. Like, I don't know who buying it at this point, but he could sell it. I don't know who buying it, but he damn sure not to sell it. No way Joe Joyce has learned that much in one training camp. Gonna lose again. Yeah, but watch out for the robbery if he make it the distance. Definitely be why I think Zane gonna beat him up, though. Zane before he like that Antoine Russell. Yeah, he mad busy, Ghost. He's mad, but he fights nothing like Tank Davis. Nothing like Tank. Lubin's literally the real life rock, Rocky. I got Lubin. I feel you, Jerry. I, I love I love some Erickson Lubin. He he don't turn down no smoke, bro. He don't turn down no smoke. I also got beat down by Manny. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, tell him he got smashed. Manny, Manny, Manny put them cuffs on him, the fist of cuffs on him. Too much pressure on him comparing him to tank like that. That's what I said. Rose, just salute, bro. How you feeling? Though combos, tank don't. You get what I'm saying? A lot of combinations, right? Tank don't fight like that. Blair better than Bud. I knew it. Yeah, but he said he's he's a little, he hit a little bit harder than Bud. And he's ridiculously faster than him. bro, man. That dude, you know, he he's a he's a character, man. Blair Cobb is. But tank punching, yeah, it's different. Got a bright future in boxing, right? Right, Bicel. They just don't just don't rush him. I say, you get what I'm saying? It's ain't 40. Maybe Father Time will come. It could, but I think I think he'll be more equipped to deal with a potential Father Time situation than than Joe Joyce will will be equipped to deal with the fact that his defense is non-existent and he had a a weird relationship with his eye and Zane jab and left hand like bro. Like, he couldn't get out of the way for nothing. I just don't have confidence that he's going to make that much of a change. Like, I've – and he's extremely slow. Like, Joe Joyce is like the the little engine that could, bro. Like, he's slow and steady, but he keep coming. He's effective. When, you get what I'm saying? He can be damaging when, he, when he's having success. But, bro, he's slow. Man, that's one of the slowest heavyweights I think we got in boxing. I'm not trying to be funny. That dude, Joe Joyce, is like he fighting slow motion. Man, I swear I never seen nothing like it, bro. He like he fighting slow motion, y'all. I'm telling you. Adderall, some he always been tweaking. <laughs> Said Blair <or> Adderall. <laughs> y'all crazy, bro. What was that? Power versus Rocha, right? Right. That speed too, uh, Rocha. You know what I'm saying? He talk about he's ridiculously faster. I'm like, bro, whatever. Mason too slow for Kamal. I think Mason who? Which Mason? You talking about Abdullah, Tim? You think Abdullah Mason? Talking about Dula, Joe Joyce 42. Ignore me, y'all. Follow the time there for both of them. Nah, you're right, though. You're right. Sometimes it hit different, you know, for different people, ghosts. You know what I mean? And I'm just like Crawford. I know everything about him, yo. <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, Blair Cobb, yo. I'm telling you, he could sell it, bro. He could sell it, y'all. He really could sell it. Yeah, man. Joe Joyce, he's, I call him Slow Joyce. Respect to him. Y'all like Joe Joyce. He's a solid fighter, but he fighting slow motion, y'all. No disrespect. I've never seen anything like that. Like, I was watching him. I was like, yo, is he serious? Like, bro. And then he would not. I mean, his refusal to get out of the way of punches was like something I've never seen before. I was like, you would have thought like it's okay to get punched in the face. Like that's in his mind. It's like it's okay when he punched me in the face. It's not okay. Somebody contact Joe Joyce and tell him, will he please, please, for the betterment of his career, stop blocking punches with his face? Can somebody please tell him it's okay to get his head off the line and all that type of stuff? Like, I don't, I don't get it, bro. Joe, Joe, yeah, he like 37, 38. Yeah, he's up there. He's up there. He said, Blair to who? <laughs> Chris Jones. Nah, I think Clarissa Shields DK is um I think she's a victim of like nah, I don't even want to know. I don't want to rephrase. She's not no victim of any stories. I think she's just feeling herself. I'm gonna just be honest. She feeling herself. This whole thought of that she can beat a man in boxing, I love her, but she got to chill, bro. Chill, man. That's still a whole man. Chill. I think she just 
she just being ambitious. I'll say that. I don't really utter negative words with too much with the group, but I will say I think that's that's being a bit too am ambitious. She not beating no man. I don't care what man she sparred with and sparring. You're not beating Keith Thurman in no fight. So I, I don't. I mean, she even offers she like charity or anything at this point. She want Keith Thurman in the ring. Seems more sound. I get you, Tim. I get you. I got you. I got you. I just wanted to make sure we're talking about the same person. I get you. He is young, so mistakes, you, you know, he still got some polishing to do. Chink is worse after the first KO. I feel like that too. Probably when Lee Wood said, you know what's crazy, Trey? I, I just really want to see exactly what Carmel has, right? I, is it is it is it, it got to be a reason he feel like he can beat a Lee Wood already, right? B dog, I'm telling you, slow joys, bro. And I like him. This is all you know. We tell our little jokes over here. I don't tank on tear him down and none, but slow joys that man be fighting in slow motion, bro. I ain't ne I ain't never seen nothing like it. Never seen nothing like it, bro. Zang was it's like the good thing about Zang is he figured out to throw punches straight down the middle and he didn't go away from him. He stuck to what was working and he just kept putting the damage on him. I'm like, bro, grab him and hold him, do something, bro. He won't pinch him. He wouldn't do nothing. I was like, yeah, at this point, at this point, man, damn, biting. Damn, Edgar Belingham or something. Bless you, baby. I'm like, damn, you got to do something, man. Perhaps because she don't feel she gets the respect like the men do. And I think you I think you got a point there, Trey, but I think she needs to understand, like, that respect that she's looking for, if that's the case, right, because I kind of agree with you, right? She'll never get it in that regard. But if she's really pain, like she need to block out the noise, the hell with the naysayers, unless you using that as motivation, but pay attention to the people that heavily support you and understand that damn near every time you step into the ring, you making history. I'll say that she need to focus on that. Focus, focus more so on her support, not the naysayers, the hell with it. You gonna always have people like trying to dim her, her star. And it's up for her to just keep proving them wrong as she's been doing when she get in the ring, beating everybody up. You get what I'm saying? But the lead to keep Thurman thing alone, that's 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 overkill. Like it's a lose-lose situation for him. If he entertain it, I won't never watch a fight of his again. Angel Diaz was good with it, fan, but hey, I, yeah, Abdullah Mason is very good to me. Very good. I think I think what um Tim is saying there, I think he can get a bit anxious in there. He can get a bit anxious because he's young. Jose Diaz, what's good with it, family? How you feeling, my bro? Pinch, yeah, Tay Tay, pinch him. Do something, like, do something to him. But like, God, did you breathe your breath on him? Like, dude was jabbing and, and straight left hand, and I was like, dude, get out of the way. The, the domestic violence relationship that his eye and his straight left hand was having was a weird setup, bro. Like, weird, man. I don't know why he was cool with that relationship. That that marriage, his eye was, like, married to his punches, man. He, Every time it's like he had a magnet or something in his eye. It's like, bro, grab me. Yeah, I love me some Clarissa. Like, ain't going to be too many people that can say they rock with it harder than me. But she got to relax. We love you, queen. But you got, listen, just sit tight. Let, let Savannah Marshall in. Shadeja Green probably work out their situation. I feel like Shadeja can beat her. You get what I'm saying? And then there you go. You got another challenge. That's another fight for you. You get what I'm saying? I would love to see Shadeja Green and, uh, you get what I'm saying? The quote. I love to see it, man. D O G 215. What's good with it, fam? When the driver wants to fight her, she can't say no now. <laughs> yeah, that'd be wild. That'd be wild, bro. D O G. That'd be wild for Transformer as the fighter. She bad say no. Bad say no, Clarissa. You don't have nothing to prove. Yeah. Um, I think I Tay Tay, I think she really like, she truly believes in herself, obviously, right? But I think being in a women's division and coming from a place where you feel like people slight you, you're always looking for the next challenge. And I think, like I said, she's very ambitious, but I think the, this whole notion of fighting a man is way too ambitious. And who am I to try to, you get what I'm saying? But look, I don't want to see no man fight no woman, never in no combat sport. That's no way, shape or form would that even be fair. I don't want to see it for charity or none of that. Like, I just wouldn't be entertained by that. And Keith Thurman, you will be an absolute fool to entertain something like that. Lose-lose situation. Have you ever heard of it? You beat her, you beat a girl, you lose, you lost to a girl. It's over with. I don't care how great she is, you lost to a girl, it's over with. Nobody will take you serious no more, dude. Nobody will take you serious. Talking about one hand tied behind your back. Say, hypothetically, you go in there one hand tied behind your back. 
and she go in there and beat you up and say, hey, yo, could you imagine? Nah, bro. Clarissa, we love you, but I, I really think if she stays a bit more patient and she realizes that Shadeja Green is a, is a credible fighter for her. That's a good fight for her. I really, I really believe that. You know what I mean? She got a rare combination of skills and power, and I believe she's a more skilled fighter than Savannah Marshall. That's why I'm itching to see them two fight because I feel like, you know, Clarissa has already stated as such. If they're if she'll fight the winner of them two. So I just want to see. I think she's like because you gotta think she signed with the PFL again. I think she's getting I think she's getting a little bored, like so to speak. Bored, impatient, she mixed with ambition. You get what I'm saying? She got some idle time because she feel like the, the women's side of things ain't that deep. So I think that's causing her to try to venture off maybe in more PFL fights and you know, different things, but I rock with her, but don't fight no man. Don't even entertain that. You know, her, yeah, facts, Jose. She'll get she'll get hurt. She just I uh, think he uh, you get what I'm saying, man. If he do that, tell me it'd be wild. She been with her boys her whole life and she's underestimating the pros. That's what got her. That's what got her, Aisha. And you know it's crazy, right? Because Shadeja Green has sparred with the fellas too. And she knows she can't be no man. She she don't feel that same way. Like, and she got some real punching power, man. Now, that'd be a good fight to have. Just think, yeah, one, two, yeah. I'm telling you, yo, she gonna go tight all night, Tim, all night. Bayla Lee versus Shields next. Mm -hmm. Remember when Shakur thought he was the best and was talking crazy to Bud until they sparred. Shakur had to admit he not, yeah, he not the one. That's what Shields is mentally. She just never met her Bud. Ah, I like that, cuz oh, I like that, man, yo. I ain't gonna lie, yo. I watched that. I watched that clip a few times with Shakur saying Bud whooped his ass. Cause I'm I'm silly like that, y'all. I thought that was funny. I love honesty when fighters just no 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 just straight up. Yo, he whooped my ass. He's like, yo, Bud whooped my ass, and it, uh, it's funny. I play that play that mad times laughing at it. Martial fight and made her avoid it. Right, you know they're gonna say that, Judah. They already throwing it out there a little bit. They throwing it out there. I just hope we still get Haney versus Perkins this year. Uh, Roja, um, the update on that. Eddie Hearn said, um, wrote, uh, Regis and uh. Haney for um late November, early December, but it's still on. And I think the problem was they were still working out the details and whether or not, like, they looking for a venue. And I think, you know, they working out it being on pay-per-view. I think they really trying to make Regis and Haney pay-per-view. And like I said before, y'all, I'm not against it. I I'll support it either way. I just want to see the fight. You see a Riker learn the hard way, right? I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Telling you, man, just she just need to sit still. She got she she'll you know just when you think you beat them all, there's always somebody, right? So she just gotta wait. Spence put hands on her. Remember, yeah, nah, she ain't like yeah, she ain't like that ghost. She felt some type of way when Spence put them hands on her. December looking for a venue, right? That and that's what I'm saying. They still you know working out some details, and I just want to see that fight because it's gonna be a good fight for boxing. You get what I'm saying? Damn good fight for boxing. I mean, she's the kid that knows talking about she can beat. Nah, yeah, she got to chill. Yeah, yeah, Tay Tay, and I'm with you, and I know that's your lane. She got to chill. That's not something you just dive into. This she need to, you know what? And I'm not saying she don't have it. Um, uh, Tay Tay, and I feel you. Yo. You'll find yourself submitted because we already seen her ground game ain't the best. That's how she got the one loss she got. Right? She needs to approach. I think PFL and MMA with the same level of respect that she approaches boxing with. You get what I'm saying? That's just not something you're just going to dive in and get what I'm saying? So she put a lot of work in in boxing as an amateur, you know, with her two gold medals to get where she's at, right? So she ain't just jump into it and just, you get what I'm saying? She put her work in. So I think, and this is just my opinion, her approach and mentality should be the same way for her approaching MMA and, that, you know, the PFL. Don't don't think too, too much of yourself, but, you know, I ain't saying don't be confident, but, you know, always be grounded and realistic, man problem is Devin it's not the venue yeah think so you think it's still just them period because I hear that's what the you know the problem and behind scenes is is a uh, venue is still working out on um, uh whether it's gonna be pay-per-view or not your Earl Michael train with Bozo or Calvin I'm hearing that but I think a lot of that's hearsay uh Judah I think I think they trying to I don't know. I just think they 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 reaching a little bit because I don't where they getting this stuff from. If nobody heard from Earl, get what I'm saying. And I don't. I'm done. I'm done with the people that. Oh, he's from his team. Nah, bro. No, I only want to hear from the fighters or the trainer, bro. I don't want to hear from no more secondhand sources. You dudes be 
staring up shit. Like you get what I'm saying? Y'all use y'all position and next to these fighters to stare, stare up shit. Nah, I only want to hear from the fighters. Venues are free. It's not venues, it's him. I see y'all. I mean, again, when I say venue, this is exactly this is exactly what bro was was mentioning venue and then you hear eddie hearn say some of the same thing now i'm not saying the problem is the venue them picking where they want the fight to be held at don't get me the line for him i'm just trying to stall him out i'm trying to stall him out Debo. you know what i mean i'm trying to stall the young uh the young dave out you see and y'all saying it's him i'm trying to say i'm trying to stall him out you know what i'm saying i'm saying it's the venue and they working out the details you know what i'm saying you feel me they're getting an interview from derek hat oh they're getting it from an interview derek hat did they Cause I gotta go look into that. I gotta go look into it. There it comes. She can't get in the ring of spins and get mad. When we do to her now. Facts, Zoom. We put the man's on her. Switching trainers, right? Nah, facts. Nah, if if they find out that none of that stuff is solid, yeah, man. For the lies, facts, cuz I ain't trying to sue sees a discord in the camp. I think so too, B dog. I said that 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 tell my fool. I see they trying to uh. You know, it's like that conquer and divide kind of mentality. Let's let's throw it's kind of, it remind me of what they do with Wilder when they can't get a beat on him or they don't know what his next move is. You get what I'm saying? They'll they'll just throw some random stuff out there. It seems like that's what they're doing with EJ and um EJ and DJ right now. But them being difficult. Now I feel you, I feel you. Paige were reported that over the years. He used to come on trolls, used to troll looking at clicks. Oh, yeah, right. Right, I feel you, Aisha, man. It's unfortunate because you just want to see the fight. You get what I'm saying? You just want to see the fight. But you know what would be crazy? <clears throat> it would be crazy if Shakur and Frank happened before Devin and Regis. That would be crazy. Being that they was getting announced first, right? And everybody's like, ah, who's Shakur going to fight? He going to fight another tomato can. He going to fight another cab driver. It would be crazy if that fight take place before Haney and Progress. I swear it would. I don't care what nobody say. Just the thought of that. Like, that tells me something. I'm going to say this to y'all that was pushing all that rhetoric on Shakur. If his fight with Frank Martin happens before Haney and Progre, I'm going to have a lot of stuff to say. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of stuff to say with all y'all talking about Shakur do bad business this and, you know, ah, uh, he do this and do that and negotiate like this. I want to know why the hell that fight get made faster than the fight that was announced before for a guy that swears he wants to fight everybody i'm and people are you get what i'm saying i try to give them throw them a bone and say it's the venue and working out details but i'm i, I hear it on both sides i hear that but then i hear it's him too or i hear it's the hang knees and i'm not a fan of blaming people because i don't care about that type of stuff i just want to see the fight right so but i tell you what i'm gonna have some words for the people that did that if you get what i'm saying he fights first. You get what I'm saying, Tim? If they fight first, that's going to be crazy to me. The fact that you get what I'm saying, he was getting thrown under the bus for who he was going to fight next. But we all knew that Regis and, and Haney was coming. But it's crazy to see that they actually end up in the ring before they would. It would be crazy to me. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, man. Crazy, y'all. He said just the page was reporter's name like Lesnar Brock. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah, you right. You right, Um, um, a ghost. You're right. You're right. Nah, because they, I, they was pushing it, bro. They was pushing a lot of that. They was pushing a lot of that. And, and and again, this is why you can't tell me that it don't be games being played in the sport of boxing, bro. Because if Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin get in the ring before Devin Haney and Regis Progray, I know something. Y'all can miss me with all that other shit. I, I, I would love to know how that happened. And I'm pretty sure conveniently they're going to explain in a way and they're going to blame Regis, right? It's Regis' fault. The guy that actually signed the contract, yeah, it's his fault why the fight took so long. That don't make logical sense to me. But yet and still, it was, ah, oh, he going to fight another hibachi chef and restaurant worker and all this weird stuff. He do bad business. If he can't bully you in negotiations, da 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 blah, 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 all that garbage. Garbage, man. Garbage. More rhetoric. Them dudes ain't even no purse bid needed. ESP, they came to an agreement. Them two dudes want to fight, and I can't wait to see it, bro. I can't wait to see it, bro. C. Wood, what's good with it, my bro? K.O., what's good, my bro? How you feeling? Appreciate you pulling up. You feel me? Feel me, man. Y'all feel me. So I, I just know, man. I just hate rhetoric, man. I hate it, bro. Y'all be spinning. They be pushing the hell out of them natters. Reason Haney is likely before Frank and Shakur. I'll say this. Shakur 
Shakur, uh, he got they threw two dates out there. They threw November 16th and they threw uh December 9th, right? See what do 16th of November and December 9th. For um the update that Eddie Hearn gave on Pro Greg and Haney was late November, early December. That's timeline sound close to the same, but I'm being petty. I'm definitely gonna be petty. If I don't care if it happened a weekend before, if they fight happen first, I know something. I know something, bro. This because the, the consensus is one guy is so hard to do business with if he can't bully you in negotiations and he does such bad business. But how the hell did they make that fight it's faster than you get what I'm saying? I just I, I just I'm gonna have some questions, man. Main biker was good with is more than likely the zone. The, you're talking about the uh the um the um the, the platform is gonna be on is because Tank versus Devin is coming, at least in my dream. <laughs> <laughs> that KO ain't let it go now. Keep hope alive, KO. You got to man. Haney and the Henderson. <laughs> what what hardcore Jay Hardcore say? Uh, young Billiam and Dev. You know what I mean? Adventures. Kendra was good with it. Robisi definitely could throw hands. I like Robisi. I like Robisi, especially when I knew his backstory. His backstory crazy. Devin and Regis as a date though. Um, I heard. I heard. Um, you know, not I heard. I read it. They he said. Um late november early december i mean yeah you know what i mean early december so that's similar to what i'm hearing with november 16th december 9th so it's like you know that's the middle of november it ain't exactly the end but i hear it you know what i'm saying so we'll see we'll see because i ain't get i i don't know if y'all heard a date i ain't hear no date i'm you know eddie Hearn. his last update was was exactly what i just said late november early december so if y'all heard something else let me know i think the hold up is the zone at eddie Hearn finding the venue i try to say that main biker the, the good family in the chat, like, man, hell nah. They like, they like, nah, they're being difficult. And that's just, you know, everybody sees stuff different. I tried to throw them a bone. I said they was working out the venue and possibly if it's going to be on pay-per-view because I'm hearing that's what they're trying to do, put it on pay-per-view. That's the initial date that he signed on, Cuzzo, too. Regis, he signed. That's the that's the date on the contract, I think, initially that he signed. He said it was an October 28th date. It's in a... Vegas on the zones on the ESPN website. That date is it's up there. They put it up there. Now nah, ain't no venues. Venues out there. I can't book y'all venue right now. <laughs> Which venue y'all want? Get you the venue right now on the initial date too. Now nah, I feel you, ghost. I just try to put. I just hey, that's the promoter talk. I'm just notice. Just dude don't have his own spin. I just put out what they put out there, and that's coming from the promoter. So that's what he pushing. You dig what I'm saying? That's what he said. He ain't come out and say yo dad being difficult. He ain't say that. You know what I'm saying it was supposed to be 1028, right? Definitely being difficult, so they missed that date. True, 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 indeed. So it's it's, it's a little crazy, crazy. Hey man, but I, I again I think the good news is that the fight is still on to be you know the goal is scheduled, right? I think that's the important thing, and we want to see the fight. You get what I'm saying? 50 50 fight, dangerous fight for both guys. You get what I'm saying? Um, Regis got a Regis got a uh find a way to deal with a guy that can box and move on the outside, a, a, a hell of a jab. And, you know, pro Greg, you know, Haney got to deal with a guy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, they had it on here and it said it's canceled. Appreciate you, uh, Undercar. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, they said the event was canceled 1028. Right, so that that's not the day. So, like I said, I think it's going to be um, – what they said, you know, late November, early December. But my thing is that fight better not get made first. I'm going to trip out. Y'all want it in Vegas, New York, New Orleans. Yeah, we could do it in Ukraine too, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, Ghost. I just, I try to, and again, when I say that they're looking for a venue and stuff, I'm just trying to go out there off the information they're putting out there. I could speculate and try to say, uh, you know, I think such and such, but I, I try to throw, you know, I try to, let people make it, man. I don't be trying to, you know, throw the fighters under the bus. And you question the validity of the shit that comes out. Nah, I'm telling you, man. Zoom, you get it, bro. You get it. You get what I'm saying? You get it. But I'm on their ass from now on, Zoom, because I've been nice enough that the coat got to chill, man. Because one thing about me, I, I, I love information, bro. So anything I speak on, I'm going to try to get all the information possible. And when, I, when I've been doing that with current situations, a lot of a lot of math ain't been math, and, and, and there been a lot of narratives being pushed. A lot, yo. It's crazy. It make it make boxing not fun. Yeah, I swear it do. The narrative pushing make boxing not fun. Yo, in the same day, Fury out and Francis and Ghana was on, right? 
if there's on the east coast that's cool right true Regis 35 by Haney Asian and Mount too. <laughs> do will resume a bunch of bars of out of their prime guys. Could backfire right now. Regis strength and conditioning coach seem seem to be very confident in, in the in the job that they about to do when this fight get announced. David the real Thomas, uh, she can't get Bob Aram to do nothing. She can't get Bob to make a fight. Bob gotta want to do that. You did Bob, and I that's not concerning when you hear Bob not want to make a fight with. With, with a cash cow like a Tank Davis is disappointing. Like the Shakur is Martin, Atlantic City. Don't say that, Tim. They put that there, boy. You know, I'm I'm there. They put that there. They I'm putting it. I'm I'm there. They put that in AC. I'm gone. I would love to see it, but I wonder where it's gonna be at. That's the thing. I wonder. I wonder, man. I wonder. Mm, that could backfire though, man. You try to wait a guy out. Try to wait a guy out, man. He come back and uh, you know, come back to bite you, man. I'm telling you, I think um, I think the mistake is thinking that Regis is fooled and that he gonna, you know, he gonna look like he did in his last fight. I think they should um get what I'm saying. I think they definitely take this serious. Any news on Bo Mac? Nothing that I've heard, uh Jose. Yeah, it's very disappointing, David. Like when you hear that, because we the we the consumer, we don't want to hear stuff like that. Because by him saying that, that takes a, a number of different fights off the table with Tank. You get what I'm saying? And that's weird. Like, what? We don't want to hear that. Like, bro, we want to hear that you want to make the fights. I think it's gonna be in the Barclays Center. I like the Barclays too, main biker. I've been there. I like the Barclays Center. That's not bad. The Cam J Network salute family. How you feeling, bro? Bob going to live all of us. Damn it. I'm telling you. You know, evil live forever, they say, man. They treating Regis too much disrespect, and you don't want him pissed off. Yeah, man. I, that's why I say Regis just got chill. Regis just chilled out off of, you know what I mean? He was pissed off a little bit before this title opportunity, y'all. Regis was pissed off, man. So the last thing I think they want to do is upset the boy Regis, man. They don't want to upset the young, the, 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 the older Rougarou, man. He might have some fun. But nah, man, I, I I can't wait to see this fight. I hope they hurry up and throw a date out there. Coastal Boxing Club. What's good with the Coastal? How you feeling, bro? They're trying to have Regis over training, not knowing the date. <laughs> little, 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 you know, little game. They, you know, little game. You get what I'm saying? Little game they playing. Regis posted that he gained weight over the weekend. He's fast again. They've been playing games. Regis got been in camp by now. Right. Right, they try and catch him slipping. That's what he feel like. They try to catch him slipping. Not wishing this on him, but Bo Mac might not be out for a minute. UK is super strict about the guns. Yeah, I've been hearing, man. He already got work wait till October 9th to see is to see to get a hearing. So that's crazy. Yeah, too long. I'm telling you, Jose, it's crazy, right? I hate that. Jose gives what they want, but you know how we, you know how you fight that back. I know we only, you know, as individuals, we only one person, right? But, you, you know, the fastest way to get somebody attention is like either loss of life or funds, right? So I think, and I really mean this, when when they give me give us something we don't want, I choose not to support it. I love to support boxing, but if you're really going to try to like play me and, and, and give me a BS event for my money, I'm not going to support it. So that's how we hit them back. You got to hit them in the pockets. Don't support their, their BS. I mean... Coast is a Frank and Shakur. It's a great fight. It's a much needed fight for boxing. 50 50 type fight. You know what I mean? Ways both guys could win. Those are the fights that we've been asking Shakur to have since he's been at 35. I mean, he only had one fight. But, you know, these are the type of opponents that people want to see him in the ring with young, black, athletic guys that can fight, right? So, and now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Tim. Facts. Don't pay for poop. Salute to my bro, hardcore boxing. Boxing news, Jay, my brother Jay Hardcore. I'll, I'll fire stick the, out of that. Watch me. I'm telling you, don't don't give us. You know what I'm saying? I feel like as the consumer, because I really and and I know y'all could level with me. Paying for fights get expensive, bro. Pay per view this, but download this app, the zone every month. Like, come on, man, that should get expensive. So I damn sure I use my money wisely. If you gonna give me garbage, I'm not paying for it. Salute to the good brother Jay Hardcore, man. You know, salute to the good brother, man. But yeah, don't do you give us garbage? You give us garbage, and we don't support it. I'm sorry. Well, Shakur, credit for beating Martin. I think, um, you know, the question is right. 
Real boxing fans know what's up, right, David? That's a quality fight. That's a good fight, right? You get what I'm saying? Despite what you think about Frank Martin, man, like up until this point, people been loving him. And I think it's a genuine amount of people that feel like Frank Martin has a, more than a chance that win. They feel like he's going to win. You get what I'm saying? So, I, and I've been seeing it enough. I've, I've seen a lot of people say Frank going to stop him. He's he going to beat him in six, 12 zip. I know some of the stuff people playing, but a lot of that they believe. They believe Frank Martin got a real, real good chance at winning this fight, and they feel like he will. So, I want to see. It. You get what I'm saying? These are the type of fights you want to see. Young, fresh, guys in their prime, hungry. Get what I'm saying? Frank Martin got to be somewhere around his prime. Shakur got to be somewhere around entering his prime. This is what you want to see. You want to see the best fight the best. Frank Martin is one of the better talents at 35, and Shakur is trying to prove that. The best way to prove that is put him in a ring with each other and see who the better man is. You get what I'm saying? I, I like Frank Martin's temperament. I like his coach. You know what I mean? We we all love uh, you know Earl Spence, so I like that whole camp. I like everything they got going on. Them boys don't turn down no smoke. You know what I'm Texas boys different, man. Salute to Texas, man. Them Texas boys different out there, man. I rock with them. So may the best man win. 50-50 type fight. Like I said, there's avenues for both guys to win. If I'm going off of what I've seen from both fighters, I've seen pretty much all the Shakur fights. I've seen about four to five of Frank Martin fights out of his 18. Um, I feel like he makes more mistakes, but he's still, he's still a very good fighter. He got very good feet. He uh he's athletic. He got good power in both hands. Um he's a good counter puncher. You get what I'm saying? Frank Frank Martin got a lot of qualities and good things going for himself. Ultimately, I think it would be pedigree, experience, temperament. You get what I'm saying? Things like that, IQ that will separate these two. But that don't mean that this fight ain't gonna be damn competitive. I think it will be. But I think if if you're if you're looking if you're really looking at this fight the right way, I think when it's all said and done, the winner going to get his just due and he's going to get his respect. You get what I'm saying? I think the winner of this fight, Scott does rise a little bit, and I think he can go on to, you know, position himself to make even more meaningful fights. You get what I'm saying? Because think about it. He'll, the winner of this fight is going to be the WBC champion, and from there it's got to be up. From there, it should be like title fights and meaningful fights and defenses of your title, things like that. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm looking for for Shakur to just keep proving it. Going out there, beating these guys that they say you can't beat. You get what I'm saying? You'll say the best frame of someone. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, five years minimum. Yeah, that's sickening, man. Like frame chances, but I wonder if you can get inside to be effective because the distance matches the core. And that's a great point, see? It's a great point, bro. And, and again, that's what he'll have to do. He'll have to close the gap, you know, get in close. You know, um, get in Shakur's chest, make it a little uncomfortable for him in there or as uncomfortable as possible. Try to create some doubt, put him in some unfamiliar situations and, and you know, see what he worth. You're going to have to really test his mettle. Frank Martin can't afford to stand back and like chess match with Shakur. I just don't think that would be a smart game plan. I think his best bet is to try to be somewhat a physical, aggressive, but smart. You get what I'm saying? I think you got to try to make this physical to some to some degree. I just don't think a, a chess match fight is going to play out in his in his in his uh in his favor. I don't see it. Numbers be long. It's handy there. It'd be crazy. It'd be crazy if they do. Right. <laughs> just like viewership alone or something. Right. If don't get said no. Fight crews are paid in long. Right. People don't be remembering, man. They don't be remember. Some of these dudes don't be one that static, man. They don't be one that. You know, this super straight. Yeah, them gun laws. It's, it's, unf it's unfortunate that he got caught up in a, in a state where their laws is what they are. Abbott, sorry, see you. He needs to be Sean Porter. <laughs> or or <clears throat> a version of him, Sean. You know what I'm saying? Rosa, a version of him in terms of like. Just make the fight rough. You get what I'm saying? And that's me being a realist trying to show y'all that despite who I'm going for, I could just t still tell y'all to be fair and give y'all a balanced assessment of how the other guy and Frank Martin could be successful too. There's some things he really got to do. They're not impossible to do, but they won't be easy because when we talk about Shakur, you, like we all know, he's just not a guy that make a whole lot of mistakes. He makes mistakes, but he don't make a ton of them. You get what I'm saying? From Three round period. You get what I'm saying? From three minutes to three minutes, that dude don't make a ton of mistakes is what I'm saying. And we know that. And when he do make a mistake, Frank Martin got to be right there to capitalize and vice versa. But at the same time, I feel like Shakur got a larger margin for error, obviously, than Frank Martin. I feel like Frank Martin could afford 
he can't afford to make as many mistakes, right? You get what I'm saying? I think Shakur is a master of capitalizing off your mistakes and, and finding and finding a weakness. You get what I'm saying? So exploit and exploiting it. So it's gonna be a great fight, man. Close quarter fight, Shakur. As a short arm reach, he fights in the pocket. It could be a close quarters fight, bro, because you know once Shakur get get comfortable, he start coming forward. He start coming forward, and he's willing to fight you right in the pocket because he could still make you miss at the same rate as he would if he was decided to use his legs and move. So it's gonna be fun. I say once he he really get comfortable and establishes his, his his timing and rhythm, I think you'll see him pressing forward on Frank, trying to make this fight like you know. You know what I mean? Physical in that regard, like and, and put some, put some, you know, some do some damage to him. Mm-hmm, right, undercard, right. Free that man or else, bro. Or else we on y'all's, we on y'all's helmets, bro. Free that man or we on y'all's helmets, man. And why is the Norris fighting Jack Catterall? Because he, he won an opportunity bat. Ghost, anybody just stop. Mm-hmm. Just who has the better punching power. I think Frank might have might have a slight edge in punching power. I ain't gonna say it's by much. I ain't gonna say it's by much, but I, I clearly think Frank Frank Martin got a you know an edge in punching power for sure. But at the same time, I don't feel like Frank Martin is a concussive puncher. You get what I'm saying? So I don't feel like he got that one punch, turn your lights out type of power like that. Tank Davis type of, he don't have that. But at the same time, he can ring your bell. He can't hurt you. He can't hurt you with accumulation and the right, you know, combination of punches. And you know, Frank Martin does like the punch and combination. But again, he fights in spurts. Like my brother KO be saying, he fights in spurts. And the muscles might slow him down on the stretch, down the stretch. And those rep moments in the rounds, you know, where he take off. I think Shakur would capitalize like the inactivity, the lows in the fights that, you know, Frank Martin tends to have where he's just not active, not busy because he fights in them spurts, maybe because of the muscles and him being slightly fatigued, whatever the case, I could see Shakur taking advantage of those moments. I don't feel like I see Shakur is able to fight 12 rounds consistently at a, at a pace that he set for himself. So I don't really see him in there taking rounds off and things like that. I've seen a fight where Frank Martin in his last fight looked like he took a round or two off. Derek James was constantly getting in his ass. Like those little mistakes right there that he made in that last fight is enough concern for me to feel like, yo, you're going to make those mistakes again. You know how I know? Because the same mistakes that you was making against Artem, I seen you making about three other fights. And I and, and I waited. The first time I've ever seen any any type of issue for Frank Martin in a ring, I waited to, to I seen it again. And it took me some fights to see it again. And since then, I've seen it a total of three to four times where he had some type of issue. And I feel like those issues are going to present themselves in a Shakur Stevenson fight because the things that those dudes did well, he can do just as well, but better. You get what I'm saying? And again, I seen Frank control struggle with controlling distance and range and, and counter punching. His timing was all who got some of the best timing in box. You get what I'm trying to say? You, you get what I'm saying? Who got some of the best punch placement? Who got one of the nicest uppercuts if you're really watching him? You ain't got to be a fan, but if you're really watching, like who, who's a, a sharpshooter in there? He's going to take advantage of, of any opening, I think, that Frank Martin, you know, present. But same thing for Frank. Frank is athletic enough. He's fast enough. He's smart enough. You get what I'm saying? He got the right He got the right uh, coach. He got a teacher, trainer, and Derek James. You know what I'm saying? He, he going, you know, he going to be able to do his thing as well. He's going to have his moments. He's going to have success. I'm pretty sure he could win some rounds, but I don't see him winning more than three rounds, man. Three, four, absolute max. Eight, four, nine, three, an absolute, you know, worst worst case scenario. I don't see it being a seven to five. If I do, I'll tip my hat to Frank, and he'll get even more credit than, than you know what I'm saying, if you make that fight that close. But I think it'll be more convincing than a seven to five type fight. But it'll be very competitive. You get what I'm saying? Cause both both guys like that, and they're gonna both be prepared, and they're gonna be coming to win. I think they got teams and trainers behind them that's gonna put them in the best position possible. And like I keep saying, me the best man win. Get you know what I'm saying? Salute to boxing. I love when they give us fights that matter. That's worth our time. I love it. You know what I'm saying? So big salute to boxing, and I think they they're gonna close this year out well. I think um, November and December is gonna be some some good closeout months for this year of boxing. You get know what I'm saying? 
Frank will give up like three rounds in the beginning of the fight, trying to get comfortable and figure out where he can land shots. First Shakur might take him eight rounds. I'm telling you, and, and the longer it takes, Cuzzo, the, the more problematic, the more problematic the fight becomes for him, right? Like if you find yourself, you find yourself in a situation where you can't get your distance and your range and timing down pack, like I've seen in recent fights. You get what I'm saying? Um, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna find yourself in some situations. I think he really gotta be physical. I don't think he could sit back and like go tit for tat with Shakur. I think he gotta you know, use the athleticism. People feel like he has faster feet because they feel like Shakur is flat-footed. I think that's an area that he got to try to, you know, utilize. Utilize the feet to put you, you know, the feet take you where you need to go in boxing, right? Position yourself, get in the inside, rough him up, try to be in his chest, make him uncomfortable, make the pure boxer uncomfortable. Gertz, what's good with it, my bro? Hardcore boxing news. What's good with it, Jay? I spoke him up, and he is in the building, you know? Salute to the... Good brother, hardcore boxing. It was good, Jay. Y'all sub to the bro, man. Go check him out, man. Do your boy solid and go check out hardcore boxing. It was appreciate y'all. Sari, what's good with it, fam? How you feeling? Do you see a knockdown in this fight? Um, shit, I, I just, I, I, Shakur bad not getting knocked down, but I think Frank is sturdy, bro. I do think Frank is sturdy. Um, it's going to be a good fight. It depends. Like, you get what I'm saying? I can see a scenario where, where a knockdown happens, right? But I'm not banking on it. I do think it will be a um, a masterful performance from Shakur. I think people, you know, you'll have to look at this fight and, and, and give him his just due. You get what I'm saying? If you respect boxing, I think he's going to put on one of them type of performances. And I think he got the right opponent where people kind of got to respect it. You get what I'm saying? So... But I, ain't, I I know a knockdown is not out the realm of possibility because anything could happen, right? One thing one thing Shakur been doing, he'd get a knockdown. He don't always get the knockout, but he'll knock you down. I done seen him do it. Shakur, like a young crawl from telling you, Al Booger in the building. Salute, Al Booger. How you feeling, my bro? Appreciate you pulling up. You say you're beating Frank. I think so, too. Eh? And it's going to be a good fight. I just want to give him his credit. You know what I mean? Give him his just due. He's a damn good fighter. He better not. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. He better not get dropped because I'm like, oh, God, flag on the play. Man down. <laughs> Man down, flag on the play. But I think ultimately, like, his ability to judge distance and range, his range control is something special. It's a very unique skill, and I think he's mastered that. And I think he has this, this insane ability to kind of predict where you're going to be. Like, he literally is a guy that I feel like be one or two steps ahead of the guy that he's fighting a lot of times. Like, just look at the way he's able to make you miss and make you pass. Like, he already know what you're about to do sometimes but right before you do it. You get what I'm saying? There's a special talent, bro. He's very intuitive. My biggest reason, like, for 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 the, for the confidence that I have in him is because of the smarts, bro. His, he, I think he's a smarter fighter. He's shown me already in his fights that he ain't going to be the biggest, the fastest, the strongest. And none of that. It's not physical. It's mental. And when they tell you boxing is 90 percent mental and I'm telling you, I'm thinking that this guy is one of the most the most mentally put together, strongest mentally put together fighters in boxing. The young young fighters, man, you got yourself a, a real talent, man. He, he a gym rat. You know, what I mean, a very cerebral fighter, man. Like his, his mental is always on the hunter. And I think the fact that he always able to be the smarter fighter in the ring puts him in a great position to be successful every time. Like, the thing is with him, it's not just physical with him. You get what I'm saying? It's the mental game that he has on lock. And I feel like a lot of these guys, like, even some of these fights that we think is going to be so so, so tough for him, it's the physical side of it that people are talking about. What if he get hit by a guy that can really punch? It ain't the IQ. It's not the smarts that you ever worry about in a fight with Shakur. Just think about that. As if he can take a shot, as if somebody can land a shot with the great defense that he has, what's going to happen? And I get it. It's a fair question, but... Just think about how confident people are and his ability to outthink the other guy that he's in there with is different. No offense to Frank, but he good with Shakur special. He not. I said the same thing, Dante Thomas Hill. My God, what's good with it, Brody? How you feeling? Let me clean. I think it goes the distance. Job, unanimous decision. I think it goes the distance too. It goes the distance. No knockdowns. It could be one, but no knockdowns goes decision. I see Shakur putting on the clinic. I see the second half of the fight, him really creating separation and showing levels and separation. And, talent and pedigree 
Man, um, nah, uh, I, I get that. It ain't nothing like a, a KO stoppage, right? Undercard, but I'll say this. You get what I'm saying? The fact that he's not a puncher, a known puncher, I don't think he has to stop him, even though that'd be like icing on the cake. That'd be great, right? But I think if he dominates him, like in any way, shape, or form, if Frank Martin gets dominated and this don't play out like a 50-50 back and forth type fight, I think that's a statement in and of itself. If he like beat him up, like and really like say if he nine three him ten to him eight four any of that stuff where he beat him like that convincingly like if i win twice as many rounds as you i dominated you in my opinion all right if i went eight rounds you went four i dominated you nine three it get wild ten two it get real wild so that's how i see that you know what i mean i think Shakur is going to stop martin nope all right i'm with you david i'm with you bro yeah no nah, i wouldn't be mad as to see a stoppage too i love to see him stop him because a lot of these a lot of guys know what they're supposed to do but don't always have to pause to execute. Of course, come from making guys miss by small margins, right? And making them pay. Good, he throws some good body shots. I love his punch placement, yo. I love his punch placement. Top rank because Shakur knows by really well now. Tinker Shakur can happen to get past Frank Martin first, though. Right? Oh, then man, that fight should always be on the table as long as them two kings reside in the same weight class together. I rock with them both. That's the most scariest fight for me for Shakur's Tank Davis. I've always been adamant and open about that. It's because of the rare combination of um, IQ and power. And like I said, Tank Davis understands himself just as good as any fighter do. I'm telling you, he's comfortable with himself and what he does to get the job done. So it's a little bit different. You get what I'm saying? Appreciate you, Cuzzo. You'll love it. You, you know, you got great energy, man. And you don't push narratives. I got to say that, Jay, is consistent, great energy. Don't push narratives. You're going to always get a good laugh, good energy, good vibe. You know what I mean? Good knowledge. You did. I have to steal that from him. Damn, you say. No, I'm saying Al Booger, like, um, if it 10-2, that gets crazy. Like, I feel like that's statement territory because Undercar was saying he think he might need a stoppage to make a statement. I'm saying, nah, if he dominates him, 8-4-9-3, like a 10-2 is wild. I'm like, yo, that, that's a statement. If I 10-2 Frank Martin, nobody expected that. I don't expect him to 10-2 him. So if he was to do that, I'm like, I think that'd be statement. But am I expecting 10-2? No, nah, I'm expecting, you know, I can I can say somewhere like nines, three, eight, fours, just because I like to be fair. I like to really get a guy a, a chance, a shot at winning. You know what I'm saying? Where I don't sound like I'm making it seem like there's no way he can win. Right. All right, man. He's been getting the game all day. He's been getting that game. He's been soaking up the game, bro. Watch. Yeah, I believe you. Kirk Douglas was good with it, Kirk. Yeah, I think it's Shakur is going to go with Frank. Yeah, I have another thing coming. Yeah, I think he, I think um Shakur is going to beat Frank Martin up, though. I ain't going to lie. Domination for me is a matter of rounds one, right? But in what fashion? I'll say, like, you know, I'll say, like, if this fight ends up looking like a typical Shakur Stevenson fight, when 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 all people are telling me is he ain't never fought nobody, but he make Frank Martin look like another one of the guys that he's fought, I'm going to be impressed. Does that make sense? Like if he makes this fight look like any of his other fights, I think I'm going to be impressed. You get what I'm saying? I think Frank Martin, to really show his worth, he's going to have to do something against Shakur that the rest of the fighters weren't able to do. If you sit back and it's a chess match, you allow one of the smartest fighters in the game to think, establish his rhythm, timing, distance, range. And I think it's, it's going to be he's tougher to deal with, especially once he's established his rhythm and comfortability in there. It's, it's, it's going to be hard. So Frank got to come with a hell of a game plan, which I think is possible, right? I ain't gonna speak about Shakur Ruin Valdez. Yeah, he beat Valdez's ass, man. Beat his ass, bro. Kello, my guy, what's good with it, bro? Appreciate you, cuz for subbing to, to J Hardcore. Appreciate that. I got, I got you. Won't be surprised. Yeah, 9 3. That, I'm with you, Al. I'm with you, Al Booger. 9 3. You get what I'm saying? Just dominant fashion. Two different levels. Yeah, two different levels. And pedigree, right? Yeah, you know I'm saying so. That's how I see it, bro. That's how I see it. Salute to them bros, man. I'm glad that it is this is a fight coming up. It's long overdue for, for Shakur. He needed a fight like this. Now, after that, right? We see fight good fire. I'll give him that. Tough Mexican fighter needs a better team. Yeah, yeah. I think that Eddie Reynoso thing is bad for him because he boxes way less under Eddie Reynoso than me, Elden. So I'm with you, bro. Oh, yeah, man. My pardon me. Excuse me being rude. Salute to my cousin, man. She's another one with a dope channel. This is one of the dopest content creators, male or female, don't matter. So 
how we all do over here. Let's sub if anybody ain't sub to the to the queen, the cuzzo, go check her out. Y'all won't regret it. Y'all that I'm personally guaranteeing that. I'm vouching for that. And, and anybody that subs to the to the fam and J Hardcore, we appreciate y'all and the rest of the family. Pardon me if I missed anybody else. Undercard boxing as well. He got a channel. You get what I'm saying? Let's all rock out and let's keep support. Let's keep the support going, man. Domination, right? I'm telling you. Yeah, man. Ash, you you y'all would appreciate her, appreciate her takes. You know what I mean? They're not narrative driven and they authentic, man. She 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 one of the real ones. So I definitely got to salute her. You know what I mean? Go salute to Cuzzo, man. Putting out the great work, man. Always salute to all y'all, man. It's just sub. I see. That's what I like. Good sub. Good old subathon. I love this, man. Everybody checking everybody out. Salute. Much love to everybody in the chat supporting each other man that's that's how we do it man that's how we gonna grow so salute to all y'all that just sub to anybody in here much love y'all make sure y'all punch the like button we're gonna cook for about 15 more minutes or so not gonna keep y'all here too super long on this i just definitely wanted to express my um extreme level of uh satisfaction with boxing when they're giving us meaningful fights that we could build good conversations around again when it's all said and done, despite all the rhetoric and narratives aside, Frank Martin and Shakur Stevenson is a great fight for boxing. Devin Haney and Regis Progre is a great fight for boxing. Demetrius Andre and Boo Boo, you know what I mean? I mean, Demetrius Andre and David Benavidez is a great fight for boxing. We got we to gotta be real to say those are of that 50-50 type ilk that we want to see. Those are the fights that are worth our money. You get what I'm saying? All of them. So. Again, I'm as a boxing fan, I'm I'm satisfied with it with this lineup of fights. And I know there are more fights to come outside of these guys. So it's again, I'm just glad that we got some further confirmation on, you know, when this fight is potentially gonna happen. And then you got the same thing with Haney and Progress. Can't wait to see it. Like I said, hopefully, you know, Demetrius Andre and, and uh they've been a Vita has figured something out because I don't want to hear no excuses. If 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 I see that another fight falls out with Team Benavidez, you got to think they just did this with Morel. They had a quick situation with him that looked bad. And then they come turn around and do this with Andre. I'm going to start thinking the issue is them. I'm telling you, it's going to piss me off. Like, fight the man. You you want to be the guy? Like, clearly Canelo was fighting Charlo before. I just want to put that in perspective, too. Put this in perspective, y'all. Charlo is fighting. You know, Canelo at 168 before Benavidez is fighting Charlo at 168. You get what I'm saying? So that's just crazy. Larry Lopez was good with it. Nah, he can pull an upset. I don't think they sleeping on him, bro. And I get you like, all right, Larry, for the people that just feel like Frank ain't got no shot, they're sleeping on him, clearly, right? But I think what they see, like for the people that's picking him, that's being more reasonable, I think they see the pedigree and just experience of Shakur Stevenson. I think they expecting him to be able to outthink I'll point him, right? You get what I'm saying? Frank going to have his moments, win his rounds. He's going to be very competitive in game. Uh, I don't think this going to be an easy fight for Shakur, right? I don't think so. But I got him winning. You get what I'm saying? I just think he that. He got to prove it. And I can't wait to see this. This is going to be his long overdue. We need this good we need this good fight. But yeah, some dudes are, Larry. Some dudes are sleeping on him because they they give they ain't giving him no shot. And I, I'm not doing that because it's boxing and anything can happen. And Frank Martin is too solid of, of a talent. Too good of a talent for me to put him in any fight where I don't give him no shot. So I never do that to him. I never feel like it's a fight that he's going to be in. He has no shot at winning because he's talented enough to be able to win any fight that they, you know what I mean, that he that he has. It's just a matter of putting together on the night. So we're going to see, man. Salute to everybody subbing to the channels, man. Undercard Boxing, J Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News, and the Cuzzo, Ashley's Corner, Frank started 17. You got 18, right? So it's late, 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 Cuzzo, right? And I, I said this before. You know, one of the coaches said it'd take about 10 years for a fighter to get they, you know, get they sh right. So you figure 18 to 28, that's 10 years. And I said this earlier, Shakur, you got him, been boxing since he was about five, and he's 26. That's 21 years. So you get what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot of time. Like, and I feel like that's going to matter. You get what I'm saying? It's going to show up in a fight like this. You get what I'm saying? But make no mistake, uh, Frank Martin is not going to be somebody where we're going to have to feel bad for him. None of that. Like, he's going to fight. This dude, this ain't no charity fight. Like, this dude can fight. You know what I'm saying? But I believe the fighting in spurts, um, slowing down in the back ends of fights a little bit, 
um, struggling to control the distance and range and get your punches off. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? We catch him overthinking in there. I think those mistakes will lead to him losing the fight. He makes more mistakes. So I, I naturally see more, more avenues for Shakur to be successful, not because he's perfect, but because he simply makes less mistakes in a fight. You get what I'm saying? From three minutes to three minutes to three minutes. Like, how many people can you name and run off the top of your head that guys can't even land double digit punches on them in consecutive rounds and consecutive fights? That's very hard to do. So the fact that this guy, even though it hasn't been the elite killers of boxing, but the fact that he's been able to consistently get into his fights and make it so that you can hit him, but he can hit you. I have an extreme level of confidence for him that he's going to be defensively be good enough to make Frank Martin have some issues in there, bro. Like he's going to be the best fighter he's gotten in there. I hear a lot of people saying, ain't Frank, Frank Martin the best, going to be the best fighter Shakur ever fought. The same could be said on the other side, bro. Same could be said. Make no mistake about it. Shakur is going to be the best fighter that Frank Martin got in the ring with. So we're going to see who's affected by the step up because essentially this will be both of them stepping up, right? People will say this Shakur first 50-50 fight. This will be a step up fight for Frank Martin as well. So who's going to rise to the occasion? Who's going to step up and, and win this fight? That's that's the question. Salute to both of these dudes. I rock with them both. Win, lose, or draw. I'm going to continue to rock with the winner and the loser after the fight. That's just what it is. You know what I mean? But this is a fight we definitely need for sure, y'all. Andre, Andre Beaver and Shakur, all the boxing. I'm that 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 defense is special, man. Joe Casino, Ben Pop. Mm, 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 2024 match room be out of boxing. We think so. Frank gonna have to make Shakur uncomfortable. It's hard to ask Frank, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna have to be in his chest. I think. I think he'll have to be in his chest. Try to put some down his head. Make make create some uncomfortable moments where. Where he just ain't comfortable. And and like you said, I think it's hard. You get what I'm saying? Right. You get what I'm saying, KO. You get it. You get what I'm saying. You get that's a hard gap to close. And that's what see how I see. I, I love I like I love his boxing brain because I think the same way. I, I made that comparison that 18 to 28 is 10 years with that world-renowned trainer speaking that way, phrasing it like that way. When you look at Frank, that describes him. He at that 10-year mark. And you look at Shakur and he's at 21. You get what I'm saying? So it's like he doubles this shit. So it's like that's a lot of experience to make up for. That's all. It's not impossible, but it's a large, it's a gap to make up. You get what I'm saying? But we've seen cra crazier things in boxing. You know what I mean? Dude, he's still not going. <laughs> Big Dose, what's good, fam? Oh, how you feeling? Excellent matchup, though. I love this fight, though. I love it. Kunta has Shakur uncomfortable and Shakur still schooled him. Talk to him. I, I keep telling him. I urge everybody that feel like that fight. Y'all seen something in that fight? Go back and watch it again and see if you see a diamond. That's him on his worst night. Man, yo, just think about him on his best. And I think this is going to be one of his best fights. I do. I, I really do. I think Jamel Heron was a step up. I do, too. I do, too, undercard. It was. People don't know how to respect fights because they look at a dude age and then they forget the fact that the dude was a champion. You get what I'm saying? And stuff like that. So, and if you marry... Uh, 6 30 man salute to jr core um what time is it? i'll be over there bro i'll be over there i'll be wrapping up about that time so i'm gonna be in the building to check out ls Tekka. salute to the brother J hardcore i told y'all bro he put in that work you got a uh, you know mario barrios at 6 30 family for everybody that's still available man do your boy a favor at 6 30 because i will be wrapped up about then go Check over, run over to the, your boy Jay Hardcore, smash his like button or something, man. You know, say what up to him. Tell him just do sent you, man. You know what I mean? Go tune into a good interview. And let's see. 17 years old, Dan, that's a little worse. Right, right? <laughs> right, it is. It is. But again, on the flip side, I will say this. For him to pick up boxing that late and be where he at, I think he's a hell of a fighter. His learning curve was crazy. That's why I'm impressed by where Frank Martin is at right now. You know what I'm saying? He's solid, man. He's a solid fighter, bro. I love boxing, so I can get both guys they just do, despite who I think going to win. There's no hate, no shade to Frank Martin. Just think, you know, you know, you you, you might be looking at a generational talent. You know what I mean? What's your course? So we're going to have to see. Yeah, man, y'all go check out the brother Jay Hardcore, man. Jay the homie, absolutely, man. You know we tapped in, man. Salute to everybody in the building. Y'all smash the like button, and we, we are wrapping up anyway, but just to just to you know wrap up these are the fights we need 
One thing y'all see on this screen, I don't know what y'all see on this thumbnail. I see 50-50 fights. This is this is like a paradise for me as a boxing fan when I can see 50-50 fights despite who wins and loses. I can get over the win and the loss. I just want to see the fights that make sense for our money, for our time and our dime. You get what I'm saying? Um, Again, salute to them boys for not having to go to purse bid, working something out where it's just going to be on ESPN. I think both dudes want to fight. They both going to be prepared. They both going to try their best to, you know, shine. I just think one guy is just going to be on a different level on the night. Potential generational talent with, in there with a very good fighter in Frank Mark. That's what I think. Frank looks in great shape all the time. And even with that, like my brother K.O. say, he fights in spurts. He got the muscles and he get tired. Right, Thomas. Right. Right. Making it happen. Though. Right. Right, man. <clears throat> facts. All facts. All facts. That's true. I, that's why I like Frank Mar. He's great for the sport. Great for the sport because he's about to smoke. You get what I'm saying? He's about to smoke. And I said this before. If they put that fight on his desk, he wasn't turning it down. And look what he did. Like, so again, we getting that and I love it. Right. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Frank Stock Ortiz and the Golden Guards. Yeah, he beat Ortiz up. I seen it, too. I seen some uh, a clip of it. Definitely put his ass down. Salute to Aisha, the queen. We got Fan Benavidez versus Boo Boo. Um, <clears throat> look, tough fight, tough fight for Boo Boo. Um, early is where he'll have the majority of his success, in my opinion. My heart is with Boo Boo, but my brain is with Benavidez. I think this is going. He's gonna have a lot of contributing factors to overcome inactivity, father time, injuries, different things like that. Not being a particularly big guy, like Ko said at sixty eight. Um. You know, the age, it just might be a bit tough. And the fact that he slows down in the back end of fights, I think it's going to be a very tough fight. But I do think early is where he could he could surprise some people. I think early he could have a a, 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 a great deal of success, bro. But, um, again, my biggest concern for Andre is, like, his balance. His balance and, and just, you know, like KO's pointing out, he's not the biggest guy at 68, and he just slows down at the back end of the fights. I ain't saying he'd be completely spent in gas, but again, Benavidez just has the wrong kind of style for a guy that's gonna go in there and get tired. Like that's that light that lights a fire under him. Like he's seen Caleb Plant getting tired because I believe Benavidez was a little tired in that fight from constantly having to you know cut the ring and chase this guy, right? And um, but I think once he's seen that Caleb Plant was you know where you know wavering, he he just jumped all over him, bro. Salute, salute that way, Mo School. Appreciate you, bro. Go get you some sleep, man. Ryan fighting Floyd Blood Cry. <laughs> Floyd is giving him some game right here. Dre, what's going on? Peace and blessings to you, man. How you feeling, bro? I think the IQ is more than a gas tank that causes him to fight in spurts. Typically, where it looks like he's dragging a B, ends up hitting another gear. That's true, man. That's a good, uh, good observation, bro. That's good. But I definitely peeped it when, once KO started pointing out that he fighting spurts. And the reason I'm referencing his points because I don't like to steal people talking points. That's something he pointed out to me that it, I do see him do. I see him struggle with getting his shots off at the at the proper distance and range. And again, I, that's right in Shakur Wheelhouse. So I feel like that's where the problem is going to start right there for him. You get what I'm saying? So again, we'll see. And I, I think in his last fight, he struggled with a bit of his identity. I think he tried to be what he already was. And he said he wasn't going to be the nice ghost. He was going to bring the dog out. And I think in, in an effort to bring the dog out, he abandoned some fundamental things. And he just made some mistakes that you can't make against your core. And I just seen you do this in your last fight. So, you know what I mean? I don't think Artem did nothing particularly special to win, all, to win those rounds, three, four rounds against you. And I think... You know, just stylistically, Shakur fights that same dude. I think he washes him. I think he washes him. Like I don't that that I know what I'm watching with Artem. He ain't he ain't super special. He's a good fighter, skilled. He got heart and he will fight. And he got some pedigree. You get what I'm saying? He's talented, but ah uh, man, his levels, man. He ain't he ain't doing enough special stuff in there against Frank Martin. Like when I was watching that fight, I couldn't figure out why. You know what I mean? I, I just didn't feel like he was so special. Like the he was winning these rounds, but I feel like it was more what Frank Martin was doing wrong than what than than Artem being special in any way. He was good, but he not special. 
Andre has enough skill to win this one. Absolutely. That's what he said, too, Dre. He says he has the ability to beat David Benavidez, and I agree 100%. No, he can't do it against Shakur. Nope. Looking for single shots and an effort to look impressive. And facts, and, and to your credit, this is why Derek James, and remember, because we was talking about it, Derek James asked me, oh, you want to be cute or you want to win? That's why he asked him that. That's why he asked him that, because he'd be trying to be too perfect. Nah, bro. And again, I see a guy that's tra- he was trying hard. The areas where he has to try hard to do things, I feel like Shakur does them a bit more naturally. And his fluidity is, you get what I'm saying? His his transition from offense to defense and vice versa is so smooth, man. It's, it's just not gonna be it's not gonna be easy to deal with. Facts, David, he not, but he's still the talent and skill set is still there. I just worry about him physically. You get what I'm saying? Well, how much does he have left physically? You get what I'm saying? After the injuries and just being sidelined throughout your career on and off. Like, you get what I'm saying? Newer weight class where you only had one fight there. So, you know what I mean? Facts, he got to box him. Hell yeah, you got to box him. And don't get greedy. Lateral movement, you know what I'm saying? Do Repeat some of the things Caleb Plant did. Be real. Someone said Artem took a fake knee. <laughs> well, with the knockdown. Because did he get knocked down, right? Yeah, he says you want to be cute or you want to win, bro. Straight up. You want to be cute or you want to win? What you want to do? And and that's what it was. And I guess he showed, <laughs> but he wanted to win. I think I think Frank wanted to win. I just think he um, I think he overthought the moment, and I think he tried to fix what wasn't broken. Right, the what the the performances that he was putting out as of late was solid, good performances. You know what I mean? He going in and getting a job done. I think he he was in his own head, and that got in his way a little bit. You get what I'm saying? I think he overthought the moment, and he made the fight. A little more difficult for himself than it had to be. You've seen him reaching in there a little bit, struggling to establish the distance and range and his timing. And he wasn't listening to Derrick James. Those things will bite you in the ass against Shakur. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta bring your A plus game. And Shakur gotta bring his as well. But I feel like his A plus game is gonna beat beat Martin's. You know what I'm saying? I think both guys will be on the A plus game. Oh, well, Martin, Martin, Shakur, when I was punches, yeah, Martin, not as active, doesn't put enough pressure. That's true. He has those lows, dra- lows in the fight, Dre, where he just don't throw punches that often, right? And I said that, and I said that will get you in trouble against a fighter that's going to pick up on that. Shakur is going to pick up on the fact that you like the fighting spurs. I do. I believe his IQ will afford him to pick up on you fighting in spurts, and, and, and I think he'll he'll take advantage of it. You get what I'm saying? Flat-footed is going to catch up with Shakur and I'm pulling for Frank in this fight. But I know it won't be easy at all. I think um I get you. I get you, um, Big Dose. I get you. I think um the flat-footed stuff, though, I think is by choice. Because if you notice, you notice, like, think about it. Some people were saying he ran, like he run. I've seen him be able to move and be flat-footed, but it's flat-footed with a purpose, with an effort to be, you know, uh, more assertive on offense, right? Now, given... It can hurt him, but I think he knows which fighters that he can get away with it in front of, right? Standing right in front of you. Get what I'm saying? Like, of course, he's not going to fight a Tank Davis that way. Get what I'm saying? Like, I think he knows. You get what I'm saying? I just don't think there's a ton of guys with that fight changing power that he truly would have to be worried about any shot that they could potentially land outside of Tank. So I think the rest of these dudes, man, it'd be fun, fun fights for sure. But the fact that these dudes don't have that fight changing power like that, you're you going to have some, you're going to have a tough time trying to outthink this kid. Facts, Alden. Facts, facts. Boxing, he got all the talent and skills necessary to win this fight, bro. He just got to put it together in the night and he can't afford to get tired down the back end of the fight. Boo Boo Andre, if he do, it's going to be trouble. It's going to spell trouble. He'll be in trouble. Can't do it. Can't do it. On his toes, less power. But, but see, this is the thing I think too that people are missing, Big Dose. He's flat-footed by choice. Like, I know y'all have seen Shakur get on his feet. I know y'all have seen him get on his, you know, use his legs in the ring, right? I think what we've been seeing as of lately is him, once he gets comfortable, and again, I've been, I'll be watching these fights pretty close. Once he gets comfortable, then he starts to press you, he starts to press forward. And I think once he figures you out enough and he establishes enough comfort and rhythm, now he's going to press you. If he feel like you ain't got the power, that he need, needs to be worried about, he's going to fight you, he's going to be right in your wheelhouse. I think if you got, you know, fight change of power or something that he truly needs to worry about, I think he'll fight and approach the fight that way. Look at Valdez. Look at how he fought Valdez. He pot-shotted Valdez and moved around. He wasn't flat-footed for Valdez. 
he popped shot and moved around and just outboxed him and whooped his ass because he knew Valdez had the kind of power that could change the fight. See what I'm saying? So that's just an example of a different what you what you've seen when he's flat footed. I believe it's by choice because I seen him get on his legs and use his legs against Valdez and use the ring and outbox the hell out of him. So he can do either or. You get what I'm saying? He can do either or. You know what I'm saying? I like it. But yeah, he's not a busy fighter, right? He does he does do some guessing that and you can see him thinking, overthinking in there just a bit. You know what I'm saying? Right, Alden has right, 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 right. He can do everything too, though, man. He can do everything. But I'm with I'm with all y'all. But I think only one he got worried about being truly flat footed against to me is Tank. Because Tank can turn your lights out. You get what I'm saying? You know, air hockey table, very smooth, like a young man. Yeah, man. Facts. Fact arena, but man. Shakur gonna get his KO record up. If he sit down on everything, he can versus the opponent. He can get away with it. He wouldn't fight Tank like that. Facts. Because it would be stupid, too. Because oh, I'd be pissed off if he was doing that with Tank. <laughs> Giving that man too many chances to turn your lights out. He was flat-footed with slow feet. Yeah, sometimes. Two aren't synonymous. Fat, right. And again, I think I think, again, he's flat-footed intentionally with the intent to be more assertive, more on the front foot come forward sitting down on the punches more but i think when he needs to move he's more than capable of doing so right and the, the most impressive thing about the way he utilizes his legs is whether he's coming forward to fight you in the pocket or utilizing the legs to get out of trouble he can still make you miss around the same amount with the same amount of efficiency so i think that's what makes him like he's a defensive wizard man but you know you always got to be smart because everybody get hit Talk about the touch record. You get stronger, add power to your style. You're a complete fighter with a high IQ. Mm, he was flat footed in that fight at times, but you're right. You get on. So you get what I'm saying? Because he he can he does it. He does it, but he he knows how to, you know, you know what I mean? And I'll say this: like the reason why I don't make a big deal out of the flat footedness, because you haven't seen it put him in trouble. Like you haven't seen that be the reason that guys, even with him being as flat footed as what we all see him be at times. And like I said, which I feel like is intentional, you still don't see people getting a ton of shots off on them. You still don't see people being able to land even 10 punches in a round. Like, it's hard to do that on them. So, I don't know. It's just hard to beat a guy you ain't hitting like that unless you got fight change and power. And I just don't feel like a ton of guys have that ability. You get what I'm saying? It's only a select few. The flow is hardly ever flat footed. And that's what Shakur reminds me of. Right. Right, I get you. Tank so turn the lights out like Atlantic City Electric. I'm telling you, bro. Lights out, lights out. So we're a fly fight fighter. He didn't have since he uses full two box yet against these fighters. Maybe Frank bring a most core attack out of him. Could possible, bro. I so what's good with it, bro. Appreciate you pulling up. Salute to you, bro. Y'all make sure y'all smash the like button. Like I said, man, we wrapping up. If y'all can, if y'all still on, if y'all have the time, go check out the good brother J Hardcore. You about to have Mario Barrios song. Great content creator, great energy, great vibe. Y'all go say what up to the hardcore hangout. If you make time, let him know Just Do sent you, man. You know what I mean? New era boxing and best TV. Salute, family. Appreciate you pulling up. Good to see you in the building. Y'all make sure y'all smash that like button. Sub to the channel if y'all haven't. Andre will keep his distance. Been a video sometimes confusing himself. When throwing his combinations to free with leading up, it can be costly. Yeah, that's, that's a fact, Dre. Ah, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that observation right there. That's a great point. Salute the new era, man. Salute to you. Welcome to the family. If you sub to the channel, much love and appreciation, fam. Whole lot of posts. Right. Couldn't remind me of Pernell. Right. And use utilizing control well. Absolutely. Yes, sir, man. Y'all smash the like button on the way out, man. Again, it's been another dope build. This is all about this year has been all about the great fights. I think we've got a uh, a lot of 50 50 fights to look forward to that we've already got and more to look forward to benavidez andre 50 50 shakur frank 50 50 type thing haney pro gray 50 50 that's where boxing needs to you know focus on those type of fights and i think we're gonna always be able to get behind them so i think that's how you ensure boxing is in a position to continue to win you get what i'm saying for now after the zoom and nelson fight salute to you bro appreciate you and yeah man he's be swift in there but again Salute to my bro on the car boxing. Aisha the queen. Salute to the kings, queens in the chats, the family that stuck to the end of the show. Much love and appreciation to all y'all. Again, smash that like button. On the way out, everybody enjoy the rest of their Tuesday. 
And y'all just know uh, we're going to be right back at it tomorrow, 4 o'clock. The, the bill, you know, we do facts, Dre, all great fights. And that's what boxing really need more. We need more solid announcements and dates on these fights so we can get, you get what I'm saying? More conversations that need to be had, like this 50-50 stuff instead of the rhetoric that surrounds them. So <laughs> I got you, Will. <laughs> I got you. Salute to you. But much love and appreciation to everybody in the building, man. Y'all make sure y'all y'all tap in, turn them notifications on. Share the lives, y'all know the y'all know the drill, man. Rock out with your boy, man. Let people know we we building over here and we cooking, man. Big dose that I agree. Right. So again, 50-50, man. We winning. Boxing is winning. This year is gonna be very great. November and December is, is gonna be, I think, great months to end this year off good. What's that going on? Who is that going on live again? Oh, that's um Jay Hardcore. Uh and that's hardcore boxing news. Hardcore boxing news. Jay Hardcore, he about to uh at Mario Barrio song. So salute to everybody. If y'all go check out the bro, tell him I sent you. He on now cooking, doing his thing. Appreciate you, Aunt. Appreciate you. Exactly. Yeah, good boxing. Exactly, Dre. Peace and blessings to everybody in the chat, man. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Tuesday. And y'all already know, man. Y'all meet me here tomorrow, four o'clock to do our thing. Some more, man. Right. So again, with that, Al Booger, peace, family. So with that, fam, we gonna get up out of here, y'all. Peace to the fam. Thank <laughs> you.